Hey guys, what's going on? FY My Pawn here, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Oh, one second. Since we last left off, if I do recall correctly, we decided to take a few steps back from going through that next area in favor of getting ourselves some more, uh, exploring the area just a bit further, figuring out what's going on ultimately within that area and cleansing any foes that dare stand in our way. For this stream, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning up the Lucilla Forest in its entirety, or trying to do so anyways. And by the end of stream, hopefully not only will we have received the stone in the Goblin Village, uh, we would also have finally tested out how to deal with those Death Knights. And, among other things, cleanse them among every other minion within the area. But I digress. Without further ado, let's get into things and see what happens. Now, if I do recall correctly, I did not sort out my inventory to a high degree, so we are still a bit overweight. Yeah. Currently, uh, it appears that Steve is currently suffering from being overweight, but that's fine. We should be able to make some changes lickety-split. So first and foremost, what changes do I mean? So we're going to go by type to start out with. We want to go for equipment that's worn, specifically. I really would like to wear this leather mask of fire, but it's not going to help us anytime soon. Uh, armor specialist and leadership is pretty nice, but not necessarily a need. Uh, let's see, what else is there? I do believe we wanted a belt and bracers. And that will help with crafting, I do believe we need. Yes, we need boosts in crafting. So we're going to wear this black heavy belt, temporarily anyways. We do also have a belt that increases strength and initiative, which honestly is really powerful. There's one that increases strength and initiative by one, but we want to increase our crafting up to a maximum of five, if we can. Because maximum of crafting I do believe is five, so all the more reason to get it up there. Okay, uh, we've got a one crafting here, so we'll equip that. There we go. Alright, we'll leave it at that. And now we should be able to craft things. So, starting out with, let's start with recipes. And we're going to go with potential combinations and see what happens. Alright, so metal scraps and a hammer. We don't seem to be making anything, so let's try that custom-wise. We'll start with metal scraps, and for equipment, we go hammer. And we need more blacksmithing ability if we want to make that. However, in the meantime, what we can do is we can go about crafting a bunch of other stuff. We'll start by making some bone dust, because that's obviously a good thing. We can make a ton of flour because we have a ton of wheat, so we might as well do that while we're here. Alright, I'll make some uh, skill scrolls here while I'm at it. The more we make, the better after all. Okay, we got a bunch of quills, we got a bunch of stardust that we can take advantage of, so we'll do that real quick. That'll give us a chance to make a ton of pixie dust, which will allow us to make a bunch of other stuff. We'll make some thread, we'll make some water scrolls. We'll make some witchcraft scrolls. We'll make a bunch of wood chips because that'll turn them into other things. Such as sticks, obviously. Uh, there appears to be a bunch of blank witchcraft scrolls that we can make if we wish. But instead, I'm going to experiment here. We're going to remove these two items. And if I do recall correctly, because of our ingredients. Alright, we can make some uh, skill books of witchcraft and water. 
We're going to start with witchcraft to see if there's anything we want to make. Okay, we can make a destroy summon scroll. Uh, there appears to be a resurrect scroll, which I can try. Okay, invalid combination. That's fine. Uh, I do believe we actually need to... Yeah, I think we need Steve to actually make these, so... Yeah, hold on. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna send over the uh, scrolls over to Steve, as we usually do. There we go. Uh, I guess we'll send over these other skill books while we're at it, because there's no harm in doing so. I might actually just send a bloodstone over as well. There we go. Okay, we don't combine. Send to Steve. Alright, almost done. Okay, that's most of it. The arrows stick with Marcus, because I know he uh, uses them from time to time. Well, once we get a proper crossbow for it anyways. Send to Steve, send to Steve. Send, 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 and send. There we go. Now for Steve, because he has such a high... Uh, what is it? He ha should have... Yeah, he has a high, uh, high lore master. We're going to currently swap the amul out for lore master in favor of crafting because I do believe you at minimum you do need a five to make it happen okay we'll send the other miscellaneous stuff to Marcus there we go I'm fine with everything else though so we'll leave it at that okay we'll move over to Marcus and let's see Let's uh, sort by type. There we go. We'll move over to ingredients. There we go. Oh, right. I should probably organize by uh, type. There we go. There we go. Done. Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we just need to... Wait, pristine letter. Oh, okay. We'll send these to Steve, these books, which are going to be used as a means to craft scroll or uh, spells, I should say. Uh, beyond that, anything else here should be fine to be kept in our personage. And we've got a ton of arrow shafts, no less, so that's good. Alright, we're going to quickly do some crafting as well while we're at it. Now, let's see. We want the Adventurer Sword to start with, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see. If we scroll down, we can find the uh, parts for the sword specifically. Sword Part 2 Hilt. Will this be enough? There we go. That brings it to Tier 3. Okay. Yep, that brings it to a Strength plus one, leadership plus one, 25% chances at bleeding. And unfortunately it's a slashing, so I won't be able to get the most benefits out of it. As for the staff, however, that is another thing entirely. We just put these two together, and as a result... Oh, no wait, hold on. Uh, Adventure Staff 2, Staff Kit Part 3 Gem... Okay, so we are currently lacking the... We're currently lacking a part for uh, us to use a gem. So we need to get the Staff Kit Part 2, I believe, before we can get the uh, gem upgrade then. Beyond that, however... Honestly, I think we can start making some arrows, so let us actually do that. Let's... Um, close up this weapons. We're going to move over to arrows really quick. We can make a ton of arrow shafts if we wish. I'm going to start by making arrow heads, 
and we'll go from there. Okay, fire arrow. Explosive arrows. There we go. Poison arrow. Poisoned arrow head for another arrow. Slow down arrow. Static cloud arrow. Steam cloud arrow heads. Stunning arrow heads. For a ton of those arrows. Here we go. And there we go. That's a ton of arrows made. We can make some arrow shafts, but I don't think that's going to do us any better. So we're going to take this chance to make some elemental quarterstaffs, I do believe. Yeah, we'll make some elemental quarterstaffs. That's quite honestly the best choice here. There we go. A ton of more staves. We can make a bunch of uh, potions now, if we so desire. Uh, large perception potions, large speed potions. We'll make some speed potions. We'll make some perception potions. Because we do have the bottles now for it. We can make a ton of poison bottles, but that's probably not going to do us a lot. There is shadow essence, should we wish to use it. And I guess fire resistance can also be used to make, you know, other things. Otherwise, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do for grenades, which I do believe we can make at this point. Yeah, no, if I use uh, Sovereign Orbs, I do believe. Well, no, hold on, let's see. Okay, first we should probably figure out what makes a grenade. Well... The typical uh, empty grenade is usually a good staple. Or we could use empty flasks, I suppose. Hmm, I'm not sure. The point is, is that we'll have a ton of materials to work with, regardless of what we do. Anyways, we are going to move over to Steve now for craftsmanship, because we want him to focus on making some scrolls into books. If we can, that is. We'll start with the air skill scrolls of type, but before that, we should probably organize some things. We're going to go by type, as we do. The same for recipes here, we're going to go by type. And then we will begin. Let's see. Alright, first and foremost, we should probably figure out what we want to make. That will be a determining factor here. Okay, so there's some Hydro stuff, if we want to use that. There's the Death Punch Scroll, which is an interesting one. Uh, there's Armored Decapitators. We've got Resurrect Scrolls, Invulnerability Scrolls. We should probably start with the Magical Unlock, because that is a very potent ability. Unfortunately, it does not seem that there is a way to actually learn it, so... We're going to abstain from that and just keep those as a rainy day scroll. Let's see. Tornado, air elemental, air absorb, wind to change, thunder jump, invisible. Avatar of storms, chain lightning is interesting. Uh, but it is a master spell. Well, I suppose I can still learn them, or at least make them, so it's no harm. Uh, purifying fire. I do believe we have the ability to cast... Well, I don't think we have the ability to cast it, but we can try and make something out of it. Let's see. Uh, a potential combination, but needs more crafting ability. Okay. So it can be done, but we need to send those to Marcus because it's crafting ability. Okay, well, I guess we just need to decide on what spells we're going to send. We'll send uh, to Marcus. We'll send Meteorite to Marcus. Uh, Infectious Flame to Marcus. Uh, Flare Scroll is an interesting one, but not needed. Firefly, no. Explode, no. Fire Zorshin, Fire Lentil, no. I guess we can learn Burning Touch. That might actually be pretty good for Marcus. Okay, Marcus. Craft. Okay, we're going to get blank fire skill books. We're going to make one of Burning Touch. Okay, we got a Burning Touch skill book. We're going to make an Infectious Flame skill book. There we go. Going to make a Meteorite skill book. 
going to make a purifying fire skill book. And in fact, we're going to make two of them. Because that will remove burning, frozen, stun, charm, healing, and shields. Because having two of them would be nice. Okay. Uh, aside from that, we can make two more skill books as we see fit here. I'm just going to make t another... Yeah, let's make another meteorite skill book. And another infectious flame skill book. Why not? We'll send those books to Steve. And we shall decide what we are going to do next. Okay. So to Steve, we've already got him. So we're going to sort by type. There we go. Now we go with uh, the necrotic stuff here. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. We've got the... Well, we've already got Death Knight's Bane, so that's good. In fact, I should probably figure out where I'm going to put it. Uh, I should be... F yeah, no, that's already there. Okay, so we'll just move that out. There we go. Okay, we're going to... Send this to Marcus. We're going to get Death Punch over there. Uh, Horrific Scream should be sent to Marcus as well, because that is a Fear Scroll. Invulnerability is a perfect reason to send to Marcus, as is one of the Resurrections, so we'll send those to Marcus temporarily. We're going to want Destroy Summon, so we'll send that to Marcus if we can. And Vampiric Touch would be a nice fallback, if need be. Now for Marcus, we will begin the crafting. Uh, we have about three blank witchcraft books, so we can only choose three out of these six. The most important ones of them would be the Death Punch, so we'll make one of those. There we go. We are going to make Horrific Scream, because that is a fear debuff, which is going to be nice. And Invulnerability is the next best thing. I'm not too worried about the Resurrect, so we'll send the rest to Steve. And we'll go from there. Okay, and as well those three books. There we go. And as we are doing this, of course, we are getting uh, more potential combinations set up. And as you can... well, let's see. Yeah, we're managing to slowly fill up our book as we start to make to... we're starting to make more spells. Okay. In our inventory, we are left with three blank water skill books, so we'll start there. Okay, uh, magical. We'll go by type once again. Okay, we need to decide what we're going to learn. Okay, the only person who can cast these spells is Steve, I do believe, because Marcus does learn only fire spells. So I should keep that in mind as we're going along here. We've already gotten visibility. We've got Thunder Jump, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's check just to be sure. Uh, Aero Theurge. Uh, we've got Blitzbolt, Teleportation, got in Tornado, Winds of Change, which gets rid of Petrified, Slowed, and Stunned. Okay, so we don't have that much in the way of good spells here. Well, hold on, let's see. We've got Invisibility, we've got Tornado. Well, I guess I could move it here so I can see. So Tornado's a good. We don't have Air Elemental, so we could learn that, so I'll send that to Marcus. Air Absorption, we... Hmm. It makes you immune to Electrified for three turns, but Avatar of Tor Storms does that anyways. Uh, let's see. Okay, so apparently it absorbs air damage until it breaks. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. I'm in favor of using Avatar of Storms, and we heal enough that we're not too worried. Winds of Change, we've already got. So, that's a no. Uh, Thunder Jump. We do not have that. But it is a decent uh, spell. But it deals damage when jumping. So I gotta keep that in mind. Although, now that I think about it, if I do this in com combination with Marcus, then Steve can teleport as well. 
So that will serve as a means to use teleportation, then thunder jump over to Marcus. And then we can just heal from that. Avatar of Storms is a no-go. We've already got Invisibility. Chain Lightning and Blitz Bolt. We've got Blitz Bolt. We haven't got Chain Lightning. So we'll send uh, Chain Lightning to Marcus, and we'll send Thunder Jump. In uh, sus suspicion that we might be able to use such things to teleport. But I digress. We're going to get the Air Skill Books, I suppose. Yep. We're going to go with... Honestly, I think Slender Jump takes priority here, so we'll grab that. And we'll do the same for Chain Lightning. We'll send these to Steve, as well as everything else. I'm not too worried about the Air Elemental, because honestly we have so much summons with Steve already that it's not a big deal. Alright. From here... I, I apologize if I'm taking so long with the crafting, but it's necessary. I should probably minimize that. Alright, anyways, um... Yeah, we're slowly, uh, making a roster, I'd say. Hold on. Okay, we'll sort by type as we have done. Now we need to decide on Earth spells. Now, I do believe... Yeah, we don't have any actual Earth summoning spells. We have actually used some stuff, though, but I digress. I think in our most... I think what we need most of all is not summons, but damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab Deadly Spores. We'll send that to Marcus. We'll send out Tectonic Spray, because that's a dam damage spell. And what else? Boulder Bash, we already know. Avatar Poison, we don't need, because we are undead technically, so that's good. We can just get a summon now. Now, do I want an Earth Elemental, or do I want a Wolf? I'm going to go Earth Elemental because it is a Master Summon, so we'll send that to Marcus and go from there. For crafting, we'll go from the usual. So, let's see. Earth's skill books, we got two. Let us go with the Masterwork one, or Master one. So we'll grab Deadly Spores and Summon Earth Elemental. Send the rest to Steve, and we'll go from there. Okay. With that, we go by type, organize back up. And now we gotta decide on the Aqua Thur Theurge stuff. Let's see. Okay, well, we've already got an Ice Elemental, so we don't need to worry about that. Blind Mutes. Well, hold on. Let's open up our skill book. Let's determine that. Okay, Avatar of Frost, Rain, Ice Shard, and Ice Elemental. Okay, so Winter Blast is a very good cone spell with Freeze. Ice Elemental is a summon. Don't need to worry about that. Hmm. Water Absorption, we don't need that. Regenerate. That actually hurts us, so we don't want that. Rain Scroll, we already got. Mass Slow. 100% chance to set slowed status for three turns. Okay. That might not be bad, so we might actually prepare that. Well, let's start with Cleansing Water. So we're going to send to Marcus Cleansing Water. We don't need uh, Water of Life, although it does boost Constitution. Not good enough. Got not good enough. Freezing Touch. Freeze a nearby target. Yeah, we don't need that. Hail Attack. 20 Ice Shards rain from the sky. It's basically Meteorites in a nutshell, so I guess we'll send that to Marcus just in case. Ice Wall's a good control spell, so we'll send that to Marcus. We don't need Ice Shard because we already have it. Mass Low is definitely going to be uh, interesting, so we'll grab that. The rest I'm not too worried about. Winter Blast if we have the room for it. Alright, Marcus. We are going to open up your aquatic spells. There we go. The most important bits are we're going to get Cleansing Water, because that's going to help us with purifying stuff. Hail Attack, I'm not too worried about. The more important one is Ice Wall. And Mass Slow, because it's a debuff. And we use those more. We'll send the rest to Steve, and go from there. I do believe that is all the books, though, so we don't need to worry too much about uh, anything else beyond that point. 
Although we are going to need to make a ton of stuff at this point, so let us get ready for that. We are going to start with... let's see... Let's make an old air wand here. Okay. We can make some improved axes, but most of it's just involving tormented souls, so I gotta keep that in mind. Grenades, we don't need to worry about. Uh, food. I guess we can make a ton of cold fries or t cold mashed potatoes. I'll make the cold fries. There we go. We'll make some dough here. A bunch of dough, no less. There we go. Alright. More dough. Fish pie dough. I guess I can do that. Why not? Pizza dough. I can also poison a bunch of stuff if I so desire. I'm not going to do that though, but I will make some apple pie. And I'll make some cheese bread. Well, I can't make cheese bread now, but that's fine. Okay, I can make some inert voodoo dolls while I'm at it. There we go. I can make a bunch of magic feathers. I can make a magic ink pocket and quill. Really just a bunch of stuff. I'll just make uh, one of everything for now. Big chicken foot. Adel antler. Magic feather. And I guess I'll make uh, just one of each of here again. There we go. I can make a bunch of quills if I so desire. Not in a rush to do so, though. Okay. I think that's as much as I'm going to nail down in the coffin. I guess, let's see. Our weight is uh, quite weighty, so... Well, obviously. Alright, we're going to sort by type once again. We're going to organize ourselves back into position. Okay, do I want strength or do I want to focus on the Tenebrium? Really depends on me, I suppose. I'm going to go for the level 19 one. Just have the bonus to strength, because why not? That'll give us enough strength to carry uh, everything, so that's good. Okay, we need, so we need our bracers back, I do believe. Yep. We need the 35 ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's currently level 15. Should probably change that soon, but I digress. Yeah, that's level 19, geez. Okay, whatever. The point is that we managed to get our stuff that we needed, and we are good to go. Okay, do we... Hmm. You know what? Instead of getting the reflection, I'm going to wear this amulet so we get some more speed to work with. Alright, Steve. You are good as good. We're going to give you the intelligence amulet, as we usually do. And we've got a ton of things that we got to cover. Okay. We should probably learn some stuff. So we're going to sort by type once again. Okay, we can't learn horrific scream, but we can try and learn mass scroll. Okay, we don't learn that. We don't need mass healing. Ice wall? Nope. Hail attack, water life skill book, cleanse water, nah. Okay, shackles of pain, nope. Rage, nope. Flurry, nope. Invulnerability would be nice, but it is a master scrolls. Doctors, infects, smoke screen, interesting, okay. Purifying fire, that should be something we should try and learn. Uh, we failed to do so, though. So, no adept spells. Can't learn master's spells, so that's an obvious no. Burning touch. Firefly is a burn status. Just a pl application. Uh, I'd la love to summon earth elemental, but we can't do that. Okay. Hmm. Death Knight skill book is already there, so that's fine. Okay, what is in our inventory that's taking up so much weight? Well, obviously books, I suppose, right? <laughs> I will send this to Marcus, the potions. Uh, I don't think we need to carry on us potions, honestly, at this point. Well, we'll send all this to Marcus. There we go. And we're just barely over or underweight. So, yep, 
with that, we can uh, head on our merry way, I suppose. Okay, Steve, take the lead, I suppose. And with that, we've uh, claimed the area. We've managed to get what we need. And I think it's high time. Oh. There we go. I guess we can just uh, warp out. We're going to go over to... Let's see. We're going to go to the Goblin... F no, we're going to go to the Immaculate Cathedral, I do believe. There we go. Right. Okay, there appears to be a black gate over here. Whatever that may be. Not sure where that gate leads us, though. Should probably figure that out, though. At some point. For now, though, actually, I would like to go over to the Cabin of the White Witch real quick. Yeah, so let's go to the Cabin of the White Witch. That is the closest teleporting portal over to this area. We are going to want to go into the mines again, I do believe. Or at least we're going to try and go there. You know what? Let's actually go to Troll King's entrance. That's much quicker. Uh, Troll King's cave entrance. There we go. Now, I do believe there is a specific item that you need to access the Troll Cave, and you need to be here specifically. So give me a hot second while I look this up, and I will be back with you guys shortly. Let's see. Hmm. All right, let's see. Yeah, no, it seems like a uh, steam's down, so I can't actually search the reason. Hmm. Uh, here we go. Troll Cave. There we go. This might be it. Uh, it is absolutely not. Uh, Troll's Bounty. Here we go. Uh, we need to talk to Brandon to make it happen, though. Okay, interesting. Uh, do we have the quest, though? Because that could determine a lot. Yeah, no, the retirement, uh... Alright, well, whatever. We're going to test the Death Knight Bane Scroll, or er, ability, first and foremost. I want to test that because I do believe the uh, entrance here is still available to us. So we shouldn't need to worry too much beyond uh, what we've already done. And besides, I do believe that we had intended on clearing this entire area out, but we never actually got the chance to do so. At least, not completely. Yeah, as you can see, we went this way, but we never went the other way. Which I do believe is infested with goblins anyways. So this gives us a ample reason to go and fight some more, in addition to getting rid of those death knights, or trying to anyways. That is the uh, hope with this, anyways. Okay, the totems here. Oh, we can't. Okay, back up. Okay. Seems uh, they've got a uh, very bad observational 
situation going on. Let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Alright, we've got Magical. Uh, we're gonna go by type, as expected. Firestorm Grenade. Okay. Let's, uh, separate, I suppose. There we go. We're going to use invisibility here. Alright. We'll sort by type. There we go. There we go. <laughs> A lot of burning. <laughs> and of course they just... Okay. There we go. <laughs> ah, good job. You've managed to charge through. <laughs> Doesn't change the fact that there's a lot of fire coming in, so... Oh, boy. Oh, one second. Oh, that was a wrong number, as is usually expected. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see, we've got some pyrokinetic abilities, got some buffers here. We're going to start with fast track here. We're going to activate barbed wire. We are going to charge into position over here. There we go. And we are going to smack up this goblin, but fail to hit. Okay. Steve takes a hit, he takes two hits, takes a miss there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use... Honestly, I'm tempted to use Rapture. Yeah, let's use Rapture on this goblin here. There we go. And that will give us Steve more of a reason to back up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and now they're going to fight each other, which is uh, good in our favor. We will summon a poison slug for this instance here. There we go. And we'll back up a bit more just to be safe. We are going to attack the goblin warrior here. Or try to, anyways. Alright, that's two. Seven That's three. And our turn for now. Goblin Grunt. We want to deal as much damage to him as possible. Oh, he's running off there. Get a smack there. Move over so we can't just do what he wants. We'll just get some smacks in. There we go. Alright, with that, we are going to use the tornado here and clear up the area so we can see what's going on. There we go. for looting as usual. 92 gold, not Oh, there appears to be something we can mine here, so I guess we'll do that real quick. Ah, iron ore. This is probably going to be weighty as heck. But hey. That gives us some more smithing materials, I would assume, and we can sell all the items we get, so that is a plus indeed. That's four, and this is probably going to be our last bit here. Okay, we are going to use the tornado here, clean up all the rest of the gunk that we have to worry about.
that means we have the option to quickly grab what we can. Now I do recall that we can actually turn something into this, so we're going to combine this oil barrel. And if I'm not mistaken, if we combine empty flask with it, yep, we get oil flasks, which are very powerful in their own right. So we're going to make a bunch of those. Uh, what else can we make, if I'm not mistaken? Okay, first let's open up our grenade slot. Let's see. Okay, a nightmare grenade. We've got thunderbolt grenades, smoke grenades. Hmm. Tremor grenades are also a thing. They're poison flasks, but oil flasks are okay. Nail bombs. Toxic grenades. I think I can, uh, well, they're obviously going to need a fuse, so let's take these empty grenades and let's combine a fuse with them. No. Okay, so that's not going to work. Uh, how about augmenters? No. Whisperwood? Nope. Uh, jelly rooms won't work. Um, what else is there? Hmm. Nine inch nails. Would that work? Oh, there we go. I can make nine. I can make uh, nail bombs with this. That works. Okay. I guess we'll make a bunch of those. All right. We open up grenades, and now we've got grenade bombs as abundance. There we go. Okay. Experiments. We're gonna keep with the empty grenade bottle here. Uh, wood chips, would that work? No. How about ooze barrel? Would that work? Nope. Uh, empty bottle? Probably not. No. Nope. Metal scraps? Maybe? Nope. Scale scraps. Okay, nothing of the scraps looking like. Uh, needle maybe? Nope. Okay, hmm. Maybe one of these mushrooms could work. Let's see. Penny buns, maybe? Probably not, yeah. Bluegills, there's fly garricks, there's earth tongues. Uh, inert voodoo dolls, we don't need to worry about. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to make what I'm looking for, but whatever. At the very least, we made some grenades, which is the good part. Okay, we've got Thread. We've got Bone Dust. Joshua's Spice. Can wood chips be used for something? Probably not, right? Yeah. Alright, well, we made some uh, more grenades, so that's a plus. So I'm not complaining. Besides, we have a bigger goal now. We're going to be dealing with... Uh, the big cheese that was uh, causing us a lot of trouble until recently. Okay. Steve, take the lead. Oh, can we not go in there? Oh, I guess we can't go in there. Oh. Well, that sucks. Well, I guess the mine did collapse, so it makes sense. Okay, we're gonna go back to, I guess, the Silver Glen. Yeah. Go back to Silver Glen and let's see what's up. Okay. Now, I do believe that the mayor might have something else for us, but we'll see. I think we just need to discuss with him his retirement plan or something. Something along those lines, anyways. Hmm. Makes the most sense, after all. Considering he was looking for the retirement. Okay, let's go in. Okay. Who are we looking for? Uh, miners... Elwyn's El Rey. No, no. Okay. 
Yeah, no, I'm not finding who I'm looking for. Ah, well. At the very least, we can uh, go about selling what we need, what we want, so we'll do that. Quite a fine skeleton beneath that hide of yours, isn't there? Yes, and okay, become air, we've already got that. Alright, we've got adrenaline. Well, actually, let's go over to Marcus, because he's got the most stuff. Let's see, what do we want? Uh, Maldiction is fine, you got... Got Drain Willpower. Rapture, we've already got. Oath of Desecration, yep. Destroy Summon, we don't have that yet. We'll grab that. We'll grab Vampir Vampiric Touch, just in case. We don't need Precise Incision. Dagger's drawn. We got Wind Up Toy. Walk in Shadows, we've already got. Cloak and Dagger, we already got. Crawling Infestation, we'll grab that. We've already got uh, Become Air. And Adrenaline's fine. Okay, let us go about sorting things out. Okay, we're going to go by gold value, I suppose. And we'll start with the lowest and move up. We'll keep the uh, guitar. Never know when that's good. Keep the wooden stake. Okay, warm cloth, boots, we'll grab the... Alright, sell these two. There we go. Uh, dagger we'll save for later. We're gonna need the pickaxe. We don't need this. Keep that. Sell that. This. Uh, sharp ornate sword. I guess we'll sell this as well. There we go. This. This, this, this. Well, the boot. Do we need to keep the boots? No, it's just initiative. Okay. Well, we want all your gold, so we're going to organize that into this. Pickpocketing, crafting, we'll keep that. So this. Okay. Um, this is the most we can get. We're going to compensate by grabbing, uh, I guess, a plague grenade. And... Well, no, let's actually just keep it with this. There we go. Plus two attitude for our troubles. Now we're earning quite a bit. We'll talk with Hiver and uh, get some trade going. He has a ton of gold, no less, so that's good. Already got barbed wire, got battering ram. We've got rage, I do believe? We'll grab rage just to be safe. We don't need cure wounds. Flurry, I think we already have. Encourage, taunt, yeah, whirlwind, I think we have already. Yeah, everything else here is not really that interesting. We'll just grab everything here, though. Just so we have more supplies to work with. Let's see. Uh, legendary. Uh, level 16 item, no less. Crafting and bodybuilding to Nevium Resistance. It's okay. This armor. Earth Resistance, Air Resistance, 83 HP, Immunity to Fear. We already got Immunity to Fear. Just with, uh, Steve. Uh, so we don't need to worry about that. We don't need that. How about the helmets? Sneaking? No. Don't need that. Okay. We are good on materials there. We're gonna go for materials here. We're gonna go by gold value as we do. Let's see. Okay. Keep that. We keep this. Uh, we sell this. Blacksmithing and bodybuilding. And we'll keep it just for now sell all these staffs here. We want the intent of taking all his gold, obviously. We don't need the axe. We don't need the lucky charm. Don't need this, 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 this. Okay, we can sell the crafting belts because we've got crafting and whatnot. We'll sell these. Uh, single, we'll sell that, I suppose. Well, actually, no, we'll, we'll keep that for now. Sell everything else. Uh, sell this. There we go. Unbreakable helmet. We're fine with that. Okay. Do, we don't need the two-handed stuff, so we're just going to immediately sell those. Okay. Plus three dexterity. A stock. We don't need that. Uh, block. Yeah, we sell that. We'll sell this belt. Sell these. I guess we're actually, yeah, we're selling way too much, actually. Hold on. 
is a fine perspective. Okay. Yeah, let's return some of these back. There we go. Nice. Okay, Trithan. Watch where you're going. These beauties will pierce you to the bone. Okay, you don't actually have any gold, so I'm not going to bother. Ever shot a bullseye in your sleep? All right, Alter me. We've got. Okay, you got some interesting items. Let's see. First aid. Cures bleeding, crippled, and diseased, and heals target for 10 h. 10% HP. Uh, increases luck and critical chance of you and all around you. This is actually pretty good. We'll grab that. Arrow spray. Well, do, we don't need a ranged weapon for that, so that's good. Uh, this is an adept spell, though, so I gotta keep that in mind. We don't need any ones that require ranged, so we gotta keep that in mind. Grants the target improved sight and a 50% chance to hit with ranged weapons for four turns. Remove blinded. Don't need that. We'll grab a elemental absorb element skill. That's going to be good. Uh, we're going to take first aid, I guess, because just in case, you never know. It might be a good scroll to have. All right, a equipment. We're going to swap over to Marcus as we do. Go by gold value. Okay, let's see. We wanted to sell this, 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 this. Alright, we're selling a bit too much again. Okay, we will sack that and balance it out with our own gold. Actually, no. We'll take back our gold. We'll just go for the sell there, get some attitude bo buffer going. There we go. Okay, I won't be able to find Marcus here, so that sucks, but eh, whatever. We don't need to talk to Ramon, so we'll just go to Hassett. Hello, buddy. Okay, let's see, what do you got? Petrifying, I guess we'll grab Petrifying Touch, Teutonic Spray we don't need. Fortify, no. Deadly Spores, no. You don't need those. I guess we'll grab Summon Wolf. Explode. We'll grab Firefly just to be just to be safe. We'll grab Fireball. Well, we already got Fireball. Uh, I think we got everything here. Uh, Wildfire is already claimed by both of us, so we're not in need of that. Uh, Two-handed staves are not our go-to. We're a wand user after all. Yeah, there's some level things that fit our cause, but nothing too powerful. We'll go by gold value, I suppose. There we go. Okay, plus one lore master, 20% water resistance, air absorption, and reflect 50% damage. Eh, it's okay. Alright, 20 water resistance, one movement, inflicts frozen on, con on contact. Interesting. Don't need the two-handed stuff. Constitution's okay. This armor is okay, but it provides wand buffer, and it needs strength to wear. Two-handed stave, as expected. Constitution wand, don't need. Okay, there's nothing really too appealing here, but we're gonna get the gold at least, so. Alright, once again, gold value, and we'll continue on. Okay, belt, strength, initiative, yeah, we don't need those. Okay, this will sell, obviously, sell that. These can go... Plus two lucky charm, unfortunately, we're gonna have to sell. It would be nice to have, but it's not necessarily needed. Tenebrium two-handed axe, okay, that's a thing. Alright. Uh, Dexterity Blacksmithing. And we'll keep that just in case. We'll sell the axe here. Sell this excellent robe. Veteran robe. Old air wand. Uh, blacksmithing Bracers. Uh, let's see. We've already got Blacksmithing Bracers, so I guess we'll sell the cheaper ones. And I guess we sell this Dirk. But we don't need... Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
Brittle gold amulets. We'll keep those for now. Okay, we'll keep the Brachus two-handed axe. Uh, black heavy belt of the snake. Lock picking and crafting. Yeah, we'll keep that. Sell this. This is blacksmithing. Uh, pickpocketing. Yeah, we don't need that. We'll sell this, I suppose. There we go. And that is a bunch more gold. There we go. All right, Windermere. Hello. Okay, Winds of Change. No, Nether Swap. Make two characters switch places. We'll grab that, I suppose. Uh, Thunder Jump. No, Invisibility. No, Avatar Storms. No. We don't. We've already got teleportation. Got tornado. Cleansing water is nice, but we've already got that. Water of Life. Vitality boost. I guess we'll grab just in case. Regeneration is intriguing. I don't think it works for us, though. We'll grab it just in case, maybe. Maybe it'll come in handy. Uh, Avatar Frost, no. Ice Walls are got. Ice Shard, yep. Freezing Touch, no. Nope. We'll grab that. Water Absorption, we don't need. Okay. We will go by gold value, obviously. We'll get all the gold here. That is our intent, anyways for uh, later purchases in the near future anyways. Okay, what's the best thing here? We got intelligence buffer, got strength buffer. Okay, well for Steve, let's see. We don't need that. Uh, the sarong gives us dexterity and poison resistance and earth resistance. This one gives us fire resistance and whatnot, that's not good. Alright, we've got our uh, decision, so we're going to move over to Marcus now. This will make things a bit cheaper. But we're just going to quickly just sh shuffle that, just to make sure. Alright. Gold value. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to keep the brittle gold aim. Well, do we need to keep these? Eh, uh, we'll keep them just in case, for now. Alright, Dexterity Crafting. Uh, Pickpotting Crafting, we'll sell that. We've already got Dexterity and Crafting Amulet. We'll sell the Shield. Don't need that. Boots are Bartering, we don't need that. We can if we really want to optimize, but I'm not really going to go that far, to be honest. We'll sell that. Shield Specialist and Lockpicking. Honestly, I think I sell this. Sell these Staves here, the Superior Staves, no less. That's an interesting one. Okay, we'll sell this. We don't need that. Don't need this. That goes... Uh, we got a Dexterity Amulet with Fire Resistance. That's not bad. Hmm. It's not as good as the Winter Amulet, so we'll just sell that all the same. Okay, Telekinesis Pickpocketing. We don't need that. We'll sell the Wand here. Constitution, Water Resistance, and Air Resistance. Mm, nah. We already get strength and pickpocketing with uh, another. So we'll sell that. Sell the water resistance, earth resistance, inflict burning. Okay, sell that. Immunity to petrified. No, we don't need that. Water, air resistance, mu movement, immunity. To no, we don't need that. Okay. This is bartering again. We don't need it. Uh, armor specialist, HP, burn my eyes. It's a dexterity type item, uh, item though, so that is an issue. Aural gleaming. Yeah, I guess we, I guess we can keep the yellows. I suppose. Yeah, let's keep the yellows because we can, just out of uh, interest. All right, we don't need this. Uh, this is a on par, but the other one provides constitution. We'll keep that because it's yellow though. Tenebrium. We'll sell that. We sell. Yeah, we sell this because it only applies Earth and Tenebrium Resistance. Although it does provide HP, though. Hmm. Well, this is uh, about 45% resistance. This is 42, but we get... At, at the very least, we get some HP because of it. No, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna sell it because we don't want resistance. We'd rather... Uh, because, well, we don't heal from resistance anyways, from uh, poison stuff, so. 
Yeah, we'll sell that, and... I think there we go. Oh, I uh, went a bit overboard. I should probably cancel some of these. Hold on. Yeah, I need to uh, cancel some because uh, we went way overboard. But we'll sell those, and there we go. I got too focused into selling. <laughs> okay, well, with that... Um, yeah, there's only a few other locations that we need to go, so we're going to start our adventure off in the Goblin Shrine. So let's go back to the Goblin Village. There we go. Okay, we want Steve to heal himself, so we're going to quickly go about this. There we go. And Marcus got in the way. Oh, well. <laughs> well, it's to be expected, I guess. Alright, well, off we go then. I'm not too worried about these guys. I'm going to leave them alone for now, but we do need to figure out where... Uh... Oh, hello. Hold on. Let's do a stealth check, or invisibility check here. A door. There we are. Hello. We might be able to get away with some things here. <laughs> okay. What's in here? Oh, there's uh, some stuff. Blessed Earth. Got some arrowheads here. This is probably where... Yeah, no, there, there's the goblin. He's doing his uh, good old talks. Grab this. Alright, let's do a quick save here. Oh, whoops. I meant to uh, save it under a specific name. So let's do a save here. Alright, there we go. Took a bit, but we managed to do it. Alright. Now, without uh, further ado... Well, hold on, let's see. Yeah, we're still got Nova skills in the Pyromancy tree, but it's not that big a deal. Let's go talk to this individual. My gracious ally. Would you care to trade? I'm flush with merchandise since the totems asked the goblins to donate their best equipment to the shaman. <laughs> You're nothing more than a shaman. Or shaman. Care to explain what's going on? So, you've stumbled upon my particular method of ministering to my tribe. There's just nothing so special afoot here, source hunter. Believe you me. You see, not so long ago, one of our tribesmen stumbled across a, a mysterious red stone. We found it shiny and pleasing to the eye, so we installed it in our spirit totem. But soon it began to speak, a demon's voice. It was dark as night, and each of the goblins took it as the voice of the spirits made manifest. Where once they turned to their shaman for guidance, now they only have ears for that blasted totem. But I would not be so easily overlooked. I found this cave and built my Self a device that would allow me to dispense guidance, as is my right, through the guise of the totem. The demon keeps his nose out of it, as long as there's enough bloodshed to go around. <laughs> Though he did see fit to make an appearance when it came to questioning you. What's so special about a thick-necked pig's 
skin. I can't say, though. But there's no reason we can't keep this between us, um, friend skin. After all, better one of the tribe looking after it than a strange demon, wouldn't you say? I must decide what to do with this trickster. Come now, Source Hunter. There's no need to interfere in goblin affairs. All you've got to do is climb back up that ladder and go about your business as usual. The goblins deserve to know they're being controlled. The goblins deserve to know they're being controlled by a fraud. And we'll be the ones to tell them. Indeed. I'm sure they'll be shocked to hear they've been doing the bidding of a washed-up shaman. I won't let you spread your filthy lies to my goblin brethren. But if you won't stand down, I'll stand up. Ah, so you're resorting to violence, as expected. Oh, I see. You have chosen violence, then. As expected, though. <laughs> okay, we're going to start off with uh, using barbed wire here. Obviously to grab the attention of everybody. We're going to use Shackles of Pain on Chromosis. Okay, we failed that. That's fine. As long as we can get the taunt off, then... Alright, we need to move 1 AP forward, I suppose. There we go. That will get everybody. Okay, we failed to taunt everybody. We failed to taunt uh, Kermosis, but that's fine. We still, ha still have ample time to get some summons in, so we will uh, take advantage of that. As Because we're dealing with Earth Elementals, however, we do not want to summon the Poison Slug. Rather, it would be in our best interest to summon a Armored Undead Minion to help us with this endeavor. We'll throw him... Let's throw him at the back for now. Yeah, let's do the back line. There we go. Okay, with that in mind, we are going to start wailing on the Earth Elemental in the back here. The less enemies we have to worry about, the better, after all. And because he has a Provoke, he's going to probably deal a lot of damage. Alright, thankfully Marcus is going to block and deal a lot of return damage if they uh, do manage to deal damage. And they got frozen because of it, so that's a plus. <laughs> you need to strive harder against me. Oh, that is a uh, missile. Okay, going for the Petrify. Which you actually managed to pull off, surprisingly. Okay. Gonna go for the strike there. Okay, cool. And I guess we're gonna go for the Earth Elemental here. There we go. End our turn there. Okay, we can uh, move up, I suppose, or get some attacks off. Either way, we're gonna need to do something here. Uh, honestly, I think we just go for the charge here, because the taunt still is active, still. So we get the benefits here. We can do explode if we wish, but I don't think that's the way to go. Instead, I think it's in our best interest to just go for the coup de grace here. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to do two basic attacks on this guy. He's prone right now, so he's going to take a lot of damage. And that's just going to make us all the better. Oh, that's a block and a frozen, no less. That's nice. We're going to strike at the Earth Elemental here. There we go. Uh, that's still a bit of damage. We will move up closer this way. There we go. And prepare there. Okay, we are going to strike at this one and get rid of him entirely, or try to. And that's three attacks. That just leaves these guys now, which honestly I think we can handle. Well, first let's uh, use 
Yeah, let's use lower resistances. That's going to debuff them significantly. Now they can't, uh... Well, they're going to have a weaker chance of dealing with us. We are going to give Bless over to Marcus here. There we go. And I guess we'll move over to here into Poison. Okay, they get frozen. And that just leaves us more chances to uh, strike the enemy. Alright, that's a critical... That gives us the attacks on the Earth Elemental here, which doesn't get us knocked down, but still more damage that we get. Boom, boom. There we go. And honestly, just two attacks. Oh, no, that's healing. Right. I forgot. They actually heal when I use Earth damage. Great. My mistake. <laughs> that's fine. Marcus manages to get the kill off, so... lose a uh, minion here, or a, a person we can, uh, buy. We need to get the, uh, stone anyways, right? Whoever controls that funny pipe controls the whole goblin village. Or at least that's what the shaman's always muttering about. That is true. And honestly, I think we can play our tricks here, no less. Or at least, to a degree. And honestly, considering how loyal they've been so far, yeah. I think we can make this work. Grab those oil flasks, there we go. Alright, let's do a quick save here. The shaman's contraptions can be used to speak through the goblin's totem. You can probably use it before the goblins realize something seems strange about your voice. What will you say? You will be a friend to the source hunter who will be permitted to roam freely within, that, within and without... Well, we already got that permission. You will shower the source hunters with gifts, goblins. There we go. We're already friends of them, after all, so no reason, no reason to change. Okay, that's iron, I believe. Yep. Not gonna complain. Okay. That's three. Four. And one more. There we go. There we go. Vein has been depleted. Nice. Okay, there appears to be more, so we'll grab that with Marcus. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yep, more iron ore, as expected. I guess in the meantime, I can go about repairing this while we're at it, so... Let's do a re quick repair. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Almost done. That is... Alright, one more time, and that should be it, I think. Yep, iron ore, vein is depleted, and Marcus is now overweight, but that's fine. Alright, nice. Uh, before you do go, though, however, I shall be trying to get some... Well, no, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, I could do with a cold drink. 
All right, Marcus, grab open the chest. Adventures tome. Okay, we'll grab everything here. Eh, it's all right. That's nothing too special. Secundrus. Okay, hmm. Baking like a cake. I have been indulged. Little taint to the tapestry that you are, and have no further need of you. Not here. Not now. That's not good. Okay. The tension has saved yourself. Yeah, no. If there's a source stone in there, we're gonna have to destroy it. So unfortunately, this goblin's village might have to go. Okay. Yeah, no, we need to talk with, uh, Sikandras then. Hmm. Okay, well, how do we convince him that, uh... The totem is uh, evil. Then, hmm. that's a good question. It's heating up. Uh, hold on. I need to do a quick search. Let's see. Okay, hmm. Yeah, we need to get the stone from uh, the goblin totem. I have been indulged. I have been indulged. Okay, how do we get the stone though? We need to deal with the goblin totem, so we might have to actually heal the village. Yeesh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna get my, uh, solution here, so I'm gonna have to actually destroy the totem. As much as I hate doing so. Yeah, so I guess we'll just milk out the, uh, I guess we'll milk out these guys first before we do so. And, yeah, we'll go from there, I suppose. We'll be losing out on the Goblin Village, but we need the, uh, stone, so. Alright. Yep, sorry Goblin Totem, it needs to go. Alright Marcus, you know what to do. <laughs> I would have loved to uh, convince them in a peaceful manner, but it's fine. The goblins were causing trouble anyway, so we might as well get rid of them all. No reason to not, after all. So far, anyways. Pain. Okay. Okay, they're getting uh, hasty, they're getting fightsy, yep. A lot of, uh, 
A lot of buffs and debuffs against us. It's not going to be fun. <laughs> well, hopefully we can get some summons in and uh, deal with them post-haste. But we'll see. We'll see. At the very least, we're going to need a distraction here to deal with these guys, but we should be fine. Oh, you are moving up really close. Okay. Okay, we've only got four, so that is annoying. What can we do here? The most we can do is probably lower resistances. Or summon an undead skeleton, which is actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon a skeleton right behind the goblin grunt here. They're all level 16, so i got to keep that in mind. So we are really playing a fine line here. We'll just stab the one in the back here. There we go. Okay, the skeleton once again goes. There we go. Half health with uh, one undead swordsman. Okay, that petrifies once again. That's not fun. Blind failed, and they're going after Steve once again. Yeah, they're really going after Steve at this point. <laughs> Oh, good job. <laughs> good job, good job. Well, that's fine. We're at least uh, doing what we need to do, so that's good. Okay, you're going to go nuts. What are you going to do? You're going to heal the Goblin Grunt here with regeneration. That's not fun. God, this is going to be a difficult fight. I might have to reload and uh, prep a bit more. Yeah, no, they're going ham for Steve. Yeah, that's going to get him killed. Okay, yeah, no, this might be a wrap-up. Hold on. Let, let's do a load here. It's going to crash the game as expected, but whatever. Oh, wait, it didn't even crash. Oh, cool. You know what? Instead, we're not going to touch that strange contraption. Although, I guess I could attack it, couldn't I? No, we're going to, uh... We're going to go up, I do believe. Let's see. Yeah, no, we're going to go up. We're going to top... Tell them about this totem, I guess. Go and rest. Drink spirit wine. Okay, what about you? Okay, yeah, no, we're not gonna get anything here. Okay, back we go. I guess the best thing we can do is destroy the strange contraption. Okay, that's not going to do anything. You know what? Dance. Let's see if that, uh... Let's see if that works in our favor. Just do a constant dance. Yeah, no, we need to load. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we've done... Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Okay. Really wish there was a specific way to go about this, but I'm not sure. Hmm. There we go. Okay. 
You know, I might actually have to hold on. Let's actually really load here. Hold on. You know, there is an easier way to go about this, isn't there? Hold on. If I do this right, then I should be able to make this happen without too much hassle. I'm going to ignore these ores. I'm not going to go through the mining of them again. Okay, how are we going to do this? First and foremost, we're going to need barrels. Lots and lots of barrels. I think that's the go-to. Alright, so where is a bunch of barrels when I need it? I guess the best course of action is town, but... It's not going to have oil barrels, like I'd hoped. If we go over to here, we can get some oil barrels, because that is going to help us quite a bit. Is there anything nearby that I can use within the vicinity? Nothing around here, nothing here. Uh, anything around here? Not really. Okay, what about here? Nope. Come on. Uh, there is the slugs, but that's not going to do it. Yeah, no, there's nothing here that's going to be uh, long-term, as it were. Okay, Marcus, we want you to repair your weapon. Okay. Okay, do we have anything oil-related that's going to help us here? Uh, we can get some campfires going, I suppose. Let's see. No, if we, uh, if we start prepping properly, then we should be fine. Let's see. We do this. There we go. Then we can follow up with a boulder bash, which will target that. There we go. Okay, it's going to start reaching the burn. Okay, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to summon a slug here. We'll slug it, we'll slug it over here. Marcus is going to go over here. And we attack the totem. There we go. Goblin totem's there. There we go. Alright, Marcus is going to be the target as expected. But that's fine. I want him to be the target at this point. Okay, thankfully the gobl goblin totem is going to be going for it. Okay. We are going to want barbed wire to start with. There we go. That is going to give us some defenses there. Okay, what else do we do? Right, we're going to use Shackles of Pain. We're going to target... We can't do Sicandrus, but we can do Lot Rot, I suppose. There we go. We're going to use Fast Track. That's going to give us to haste. attack the goblin grunt here. There we go. It's not a lot, but it's still something. Okay. They're going to continue be... Yeah. Enemies are going to prefer to attack uh, Marcus, which is the go goal. <laughs> okay, he's going for Steve, it seems. No, nope, he's going for Marcus instead. Okay, good. Works in my favor. I would rather have them attack Marcus than Steve at this moment, so... All the more reason to prep as intended. Okay, they're moving to position as expected. Yeah, they're going all the way as expected. The big zoom. Oh, they managed to get a hit off. Nice. Okay, we're going to... Okay, who are we going to hit? Uh, we're going to need to poison, so... We'll hit there. There we go. 
Okay, now we're going to need to charm somebody, so... We'll do a save here. There we go. And preferably we want to get a charm off. But... Healing comes first, naturally, so... Yeah, we heal Marcus here. There we go. Get his head. Okay, that's Marcus healed. And we can go for the Golem Totem if we so desire. Gonna take this chance to do a burn here. Okay, nope, that's still not enough, but that's fine. Well, at least Marcus is uh, quite durable. That's the good thing. <laughs> Charm failed. Damage, okay, that's fine. Ah, pain. <laughs> a dance to the death, and my steps the daintier. Kind of surpri the surprised the block's not coming in clutch, but eh, whatever. We still need to deal with the enemies, though, so that is going to be an issue. Alright, that's a chill. Nice. Okay, that's even more damage. And that's a block. Okay. Lot rot. Uh, that's a miss. We can still move a bit there, though. Okay. We're going to heal Marcus, naturally. As we do. Okay, heal up Marcus. There we go. Let us give you a fortify. So that way your armor class is increased just a smidgen further. There we go. Your defenses are optimal. Okay, for you, Marcus, let's see. We have a 60% chance at using Avatar of Fire. But I don't think that's going to help us in this situation as it stands. No, instead we are better off going with Explode. Get everybody and destroy the uh, altar wall. And for our trouble... Yeah, we should probably grab that bloodstone just to be safe. And end our turn there. That's a lot of healing, okay. <laughs> Thankfully Marcus has taken hits like a champ, so that's good. Jeez, that's a lot of blocking, good. Well, at least Marcus has taken the hits like a champ, that's the important bit. Of course though, we should probably get some more healing. That good goodness knows Marcus is going to need all the healing he can get. Oh dear, um, not going to be able to do anything here, um, our summon's not going to last any longer, so we should probably get an undead decapitator here, to act as a distraction for now, there we go. We're going to start moving Steve over. We're going to start charming these guys to get taunted on this dude. And we're going to start attacking Sikandras, who is a Earth user. We won't be get able to get the knockdown, but we can still attack him. And we're getting some really serious damage in. So it's coming in clutch. Good. Okay, Decapitator's taking some damage, but that's to be expected. Yeah, that's a lot of hits, jeez. Good gravy, that's a lot of hits. Okay, they're getting some hits on Steve, but that's fine. Mikus is probably going to be sent over somewhere. I'm not sure where, but... We're going to take the most convenient routes. Decapitator takes a ton of hits for Marcus while we're raiding. So that's going to be beneficial to us. You need to strive harder against me. Okay, the blocks are coming in clutch. Nice. 
Alright, the AOOs, the Undead Decapitator gets harassed again, which is fine. The intention was to uh, send them to uh, kill, so all the more reason. Okay, let's see. Uh, what can I do here? We're going to need a wind-up toy here, so... Yeah, no, that's a lot of, uh, travel. Okay, hold on. Target is blocked. By what? Okay, uh, let's set you over here. Hopefully you're not gonna die from the fire, but we'll see. There we go. And we can target the goblin grunt here, or... Yeah, let's target the burning one. Alright, that's one hit. And that's our turn. Okay, we need to get the heal off. So, honestly, the best course of action is to get the slug in here. We're going to get the slug over here specifically, so that way it's within range. There we go. We're going to move out a bit further, like so. We are going to move 3 AP, well no, we need to move over here, there we go. Okay, we're warm, that's fine. We are just barely out of reach from Marcus, but just to be safe, we will be moving a bit further. Are you kidding? Oh well, that's enough damage to work, so I guess we got that. Okay, Marcus gets the heal there, there we go. And we are going to start moving with our little ooze boy here. There we go. The ooze comes in. Sicandrus is going to target the poison slug with the mark. Which actually works in our favor, I do believe. Makes it a lot more convenient for us. Okay, Micus, you're becoming a nuisance. We're going to probably just... Yeah, we're probably going to charm you. Okay. At least the uh, situation's playing out in our favor, so I'm not I'm not too worried. Alright, that's a block. That is a hit. Hit. Yeah, no, these guys are uh they're trying their best, but there's uh only so much they can do. <laughs> oh. That was glitchy. <laughs> ah, the poison slug's taking hits, that's fine. Yep, we've managed to get Shackles of Pain now, so we're going to focus on Sicandrus here. Okay, we failed to get the chains off, that's fine. We can still do the call. There we go, that'll increase our health temporarily. Uh, let's see. A uh, Crippling Blow we can actually use. Yeah, let's use Crippling Blow on... Well, we've got this Goblin Grunt, so do deal with you then. Okay, that leaves Steve. Uh, let's go with a heal on our boy. Or try and get a heal on our boy. Okay, no, we're not going to get it unless we deal with that Goblin. So, I guess we go for the kill on the Grunt. Yep. We killed the Grunt. There we go. And now we can heal Marcus freely by healing him in the face and getting him a ton of healing. There we go. Okay. Our Ooze Buddy here. Not going to be able to do anything, but he can deal with the Grunt maybe if we're lucky. Alright, that's a miss, unfortunately, but that's fine. Okay. Marcus, you are responsible for dealing with uh, this Goblin Grunt, I suppose. Although, I guess I can get the Taunt off, couldn't I? Hmm. If I go with the Charge, then... Yeah, no, the Charge is not going to help us. But I can deal with Micus here, and whatnot. 
Yeah, let's charge... Well, no, let's actually not. Alright, we've got enough for three strikes even, so that's good. This is going to cost three to use taunt, but our HP is fine. Yeah, let's just do the attacks. Alright, come on. Come on, get the hits. Alright, uh, I guess I could do uh, the glowing light here as well, so we'll do that for them. There we go. These guys will be affected by... Well, no, they didn't even get affected. Great. Okay, whatever. Alright, Goblin Grunt gets hit. The Poison Slug gets targeted. Uh, blinded and all that jazz. That's fine. I can work with that. Alright, you're doing magic. It seems Poison Traps are your way of uh, dealing with the enemy. But okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Okay, I think it's high time we charm somebody, though. Yeah, we, we need to charm somebody at this rate, so. Yeah, Calcutus is gonna be annoying, but eh, whatever. I think we charm Micus, though. That is gonna be the go-to, though. Oh, that's even more. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, that's so much damage, but it works in our favor, I suppose. Okay, deal the Goblin Grunt. Hopefully we get the kill. Yep, we managed to get a kill. Nice. End our turn there. Okay, Marcus, we can just barely target, like so. Uh, but I don't think that's going to solve our problem. Are you kidding? Mmm, pain. Ah, <sighs> okay. If I move any further, then it's only going to cause us more trouble, so... Yeah, I guess we're just attacking as normal. We'll target the grunt, I suppose. There we go. Not exactly what I wanted, but okay. Okay, we're going to go for the explosion here again. There we go. Get burn everywhere, after all. Okay, the grunt here is going to be annoying, so we're going to go for the crippling blow here. There we go. He's now very weak, and he's probably going to die because of burning, which works in our favor. Poison Slug's doing his work, so that's good. And yeah, everybody's taking damage, so that's the good part here. Oh, he's running off. Probably going to take damage as he goes, which he doesn't, unfortunately, but hey, whatever. More damage to the ooze, the better. <laughs> it's playing its role phenomenally. Okay. Marcus, you're next. Okay. Failing to hit, but that's good. Yeah, I do not regret giving that ooze uh, what I did. Okay, before we move anywhere, we're going to do Rapture, and we're going to try and target Micus here. Alright, perfect. Micus is now charmed. We can now use... Well, Mute if we really wanted to, but I don't think that's going to help us. We can't do that, so... I guess we're going to fortify Marcus here. There we go. Just increase his defenses just a smidgen further. Every little bit counts. And yeah, we're going to deal as much damage with Micus as possible and take advantage of those uh, enemies. Okay, we want to trip Kytus here, I suppose. Or do we just attack him? Uh, if we trip him, it'll make it easier to hit. So we'll go with that. There we go. And if we do anything in particular, yeah, if we do Crippling Strike, then we can get some serious damage off. So we'll do that. There we go, 197, and he's crippled. End our turn there. The Poison Slug has taken his L's, but hey, we got the Charm off now, and it's going to be a lot easier to deal with the enemies. Just by a smidgen, anyways. <laughs> Okay, Poison Slug is slowly whittling down. 
it might actually die this turn. Uh, it actually did, shocking enough. <laughs> okay, in that case, we're going to summon the armored Juggernaut here, and we're going to summon him right in that area there. Okay, Micus has no longer been charmed, but that's fine. Alright. Marcus, you're gonna smack Kaidus here. There we go. And I guess we can go for... Well, we can't see the target, so... Okay, how are we gonna get through? Hmm. Well, I guess we target Micus here. No, let's target the Goblin Trapper here. There we go. Get the kill off. That way we can just move over to here to Micus, and he's now in a position of vulnerability. Uh, did our skeleton didn't... Our skeleton get, didn't get summoned. What? Okay. I guess we have no skeleton. Great. That sucks. Okay, Crashus, you are going to be a nuisance, but it's not that big of a nuisance. Alright, we've got our new summon here. There we go. We are going to immediately march as far away as possible in the direction of the bridge. There we go. We're going to heal Marcus. And we are going to attack Micus. There we go. Now we can start getting the taunts off if we so desire. And we are going to have too much of a trouble, I do believe. Yeah. Marcus can easily get the taunts off. And we can get two strikes if we so desire right now, which I'm going to do. There we go. That's two. There we go. Nearly killed him already. That's good. Okay. They're targeting Steve. Or at least they're trying to target Steve, but Marcus is currently the more focused of the two, thankfully. Okay, you're gonna slowly start whittling them. They're gonna start whittling themselves down naturally. All right, let's go for the kill on Micus here. There we go, and we will start moving our way over to here, and just sending out mists of poison. We will give Marcus another dose of healing, which he goodness, he goodness, he needs a lot, obviously. And we're going to attack Sikandras here with two Earth Blasts. That gets him to kill. And we are just going to, well, first let's uh, base him in Divine Light. There we go. That makes him struck by Divine Light, which weakens him significantly. And we are just going to use the Cripple Strike. There we go. Get the Cripple Strike on. We are going to move as close as possible. End our turn there. Now he's going to do attacks of his own. Get a smack there. Steve, we want you to go on heal duty here. There we go. Okay, we're also going to boost the accuracy of Marcus. Goodness knows he's gonna need it. Okay, end our turn there. And now we deal with Crashus here. I guess the best course of action would... Well, I guess we don't need to cripple him again. Although it does deal 277 to 411 damage, so... It's extra damage, I suppose. Okay, two attacks, and that's a kill, I think. There we go. Took a bit of effort, but we managed to clear up the uh, village, and we... We managed to get the Bloodstone. Not a fan that I had to get rid of the... Just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes you need to be a uh, tyrant of sorts, just to get rid of everything. We'll do some quick rain here, just get rid of everything. 
soaked to the skin. Well, first let's uh, go over to the poison slug pool. Get some healing there. There we go. Smoke grenade. Look out, I see a trap nearby. Oh, trap. I don't think we need anything from here, but we'll we'll check just to be safe. You never know. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Well, I guess there is something. Okay. Oh, there was a book here. Uh read. Grab these. Oh, a love grenade, nice. Okay. Bread. Yeah, there's nothing too spectacular around here. Uh, he who smelts it. Yoink. Yeah, we don't. That goes. All right. Yeah, no, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, no, the village has been uh, eradicated, but, eh. It's what happens when you have to deal with, uh, have a stone, which we do need to require. Acquire, rather. It's for the sake of the world, after all. We want all those bloodstones to recreate the history properly. The more, uh, brutally efficient we are, the better. Okay. We save, now that we've dealt with that situation, in the most brutal fashion, mind you, but now that it's done, we can keep moving on. Of course, I'm not a fan of the mists and whatnot, but we're trying our best here. We're trying our best. Bewildered Caverneer. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, there's some stuff here. I think uh, this is the area that we met our little dude who was trying to convince us of something. Or trying to convince us to give a uh, bloodstone to him. Or something along those lines. A bewildered cavernier. Good day to you. Uh, let's save just to be safe. Hello. is turning with illusions. A spineless thing. It couldn't have been. Could it? My companions, is it too late? Sir, what happened here? There's cobwebs behind my eyes. Coming out of my ears. Am I... Am I mad? No. No, impossible. I am clearer now than I have been in days. Of that much, I am certain. The Spider Queen. It was she who poisoned us. She who would see her spawn gnaw off our limbs while we cried tears of thankful devotion. You say the Spider Queen poisoned you? Yes, I... I can nearly remember. We are travelers, you see. Traders and merchants ever en route from village to town. We'd heard these dusty plains would find us face to face with goblins. But this deterred us not. But the high winds proved too great for travel. And so we made an early camp that first night. As the sun disappeared below the horizon, the plains grew still, hauntingly still. We felt it in our stomachs, the unreality of it. Suddenly, as though she had appeared in a thunderclap, she was there among us. None so much as fathom the word escape before she'd stung us. But we did not die, no. Her bite was not a poison of death, but of dreams. 
Within minutes, each of us had succumbed. Hail to the Queen! The refrain sounded over and over, first in our minds, then from our very mouths. I see. So apparently some charming actions going on with the uh, Queen. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is looking pretty concerning at this rate. From within the, the queen. Our Hello. Our thoughts are hot and crazed. Our minds with web inlaid. Our sweating palms we raise for the dream weaver. Who are you people? She the sire and the mother. She the seed and she the egg. She we love and she we serve. Right, I'll take my leave. I am very concerned for these people though. At the rate things are going, we may have to converse with this queen of sorts. Okay. All right, let's uh, get Marcus to... Well, actually, no, I've got an easier way. Chest, come over here. At the very least, we probably won't be breaking too many eggs as a result. I'll identify this, there we go. Ah, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, that's a lot of spiders. <laughs> okay, we're probably not going to get as much of a result. Well, we'll go, we'll go with barbed wire here to start with. We'll then do shackles of pain on one of them. We'll go with the sand huntress here, I suppose. And then we'll move Steve a bit forward. There we go. We are going to go with a undead warrior here and start attacking. Okay, the weakness is applied and damage is uh, slowly coming forward. Okay, so they're dealing a lot of damage. I'm more worried about the Sand Widow than I am the Huntresses. So I'm just going to quickly just try and get the bleed off. That doesn't do us much. Apparently they're really potent though, so I should keep that in mind. With uh, strength, I should say. All right, we are going to activate... Well, Fast Track's not gonna help us here, I do believe. We can do a wind-up toy, though. That is an option. Yeah, let's do a wind-up toy. We'll do them over here, though. And we will get ourselves into position. There we go, one AP worth. There we go, end our turn. We are going to teleport the skeleton. Well, we can't teleport the skeleton, so that is not an option. We can do a blitz stun, though. And I think we're just going to target the Sand Widow here. Yeah, get rid of Sand Widow's defenses, and we'll be good. We'll move away from that skeleton, and there we go. Try again. Ah, perfect. Now our skelly boy can get into position. We want to move all the way over to here, I do believe. Okay, no, a bit further. Here we go. Oh, that's a bit too far. Oh well. We can still get two strikes off on the sand widow here. There we go. 
All right. Marcus, we're going to swing on the Sand Widow, I suppose. Three attacks is better than nothing, after all. And we have enough room to attack all three, so we'll blow them all up. There we go. Nice juicy damage. Okay, as for summons, we can finally summon a Poison Slug if we wish, but I don't think that's going to help us here. So instead, we're going to summon the Spider, which... Oh, no, wait, the Spider does Earth damage, so it's not going to work. So we should actually go with Rapture, and we'll target this Huntress here. There we go. That'll minimize our con concerns. The Huntress here is going to burn. That works for me. Oh dear, that's not good. The spiderlings have hatched. That's not fun, but hey. Ah, fire. <laughs> okay. More damage. Okay, interesting. Well, we might be slow, but that's fine. We are fully able to uh, manage this and fight with relative ease. I think it's a uh, high time we get the taunt off, though, at this point. But we'll see. We'll see. The Huntress is doing its work, though, so... Having it being charmed like this is actually really beneficial to us, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Alright, it's at this point I can uh, summon in the Decimator here. As for where I summon him, I should probably move out of the range here. So I can summon him, which won't be able to if I do. Which sucks. Alright, how am I going to summon him? Target's out of sight. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to summon him if I'm in this pool. This, uh, mist. So that sucks. So I guess we move out of the mist right to here. End our turn for now. It's an odd choice of uh, action, I know, but it needs to be done. We're going to summon a fire elemental here. There we go. Fire elemental goes in. Sand Huntress next. Okay, the f the sounds of danger are no longer present. That's good. We're gonna do the Sand Window or s damage the Sand Widow here. It's oddly quiet. Yeah, no, it's very quiet actually. Hold on. Is something wrong with my mic? You know what? It's not. Okay, so I guess it's just very quiet here right now. Interesting. Seven, have mercy on your soul. <laughs> I guess we've been fighting so long in this misty area that it's just actually stopped the music. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, but goodness, this uh, changes a lot of things, but whatever. All right, we're going to summon the... Uh, going to summon the skeleton here. There we go. crafted from rot and decay. Okay, uh, let's see. We don't get anything here, but we can certainly do an accuracy buff on Marcus. Goodness I knows he needs it. Alright, end our turn there. Spiders go next, and what are they going to do? Okay, they're going to attack the Fire Elemental, as expected. Well, among other things. Spiderling's going to do some shenanigans. Okay. Alright. Well, the easiest way to handle this would be to get the taunt off. Okay, now they're uh, focused on uh, the skeleton. We're going to focus on the Huntress here. Get the kill off. There we go. End our turn there. Okay, we're going to... 
I guess get the resistance there. And we're going to start moving over to this spiderling here. We'll get some uh, hits off on this poisoned spiderling here as well. There we go. Got the crippled and trip, no less, so that's good. Get the damage there. And do it again. There we go, 202. We are not going to attack normally. Rather, it's in our best interest to get... I guess we can get the poison off, because these guys aren't immune to the poison damage, they're just immune to the poison effect. Oh no, they are actually healing from that. Okay, so never mind. Let's uh, just throw some oil on him. There we go. Alright, Spiderling's running. Or trying to, anyways. Okay, what's it gonna do? It is gonna do nothing. Okay, we're just gonna get a strike on this Spiderling here. Failed to knock down, that's fine. Okay. Marcus, we want you to use... Crippling Blow here. Done. And we're gonna start... Well, we're gonna hold you off here. We're gonna use a Tornado to clear a way for the spider to get through. Yes, it seems like an idiot... A, a dumb thing to do, but it needs to be done. Because otherwise it's not going to approach. I do believe. Yep, exactly. Well, at least your music picked up again. So that's nice. We're going to go forward. Going to slam attack the spiderling. We're going to charge past the spider. Failed a knockdown, but that's fine. We are then going to go with two attacks on the spiderling. Oh, no, wait, never mind. We don't need to. Doesn't appear to be much else beyond here, though, so we've got to keep that in mind. Okay, we've already been here in particular. Yeah, we've been up here. Okay, there's nothing here, so all that's left is these guys, I suppose. Which are currently uh, worshipping the spider eggs, which we should probably get rid of at some point. I'm not too worried, though. Uh, if we're going to be dealing with the Spider Queen, we should probably go down here, which is probably makes the most sense. I'm overheating here. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's apparently a quest at the Black Gate, so I gotta keep that in mind. Let's pop this open. Okay, nothing there. Let's get some repairs in. There we go. Let's uh, heal Marcus, but heal on the floor specifically, so that way we can get some healing. But back there. There we go. Steve is just gonna walk through here. There we go. It's annoying, but needs to be done to get as much healing as possible. There we go. Done. Alright. Bunch of lanterns, a bunch of smog. But otherwise, nothing too hard to handle, from the looks of it. Let's get a save here. Alright, we are in a new area, entirely, that is comprised of magma, actually. That's not good. Oh, hello, Immaculate Flame Weaver. By the goddess, hold your step! You are treading the ground of Immaculates. Be gone from here! March! Don't you recognize reinforcements when you see them? I thought you'd welcome a change of the guard. We are going to start with Rock. There we go. Now, is he the type to change? That's the question. Uh, yes, he's the type to change. Okay, so he's gone to Paper. So he's going to go Rock, so we should go Paper. Uh, no, he goes Scissors. Okay, great. So he's the type to change. I would recognize reinforcements when I see them. Just like I recognize trespassers. And know this, trespasser. We attack on sight. Well, that's a shame. Alright, burning it is. Okay.
You know, now that I think about it... Yeah, that's magma, isn't it? Oh god, this can get really nasty now that I think about it. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, well, trip. There we go. We're gonna go with the cripple strike here. And we're gonna move out of the fiery zone, just so we don't burn like crazy. Okay, we are going to summon, and we're going to summon specifically a poison slug here. There we go. We'll summon him right there. As for Steve, we want him out of the fire, so the, close, the closer we are out of the fire, the better. Man, they really are blowing themselves up, though. <laughs> Alright, stun failed, but the ooze is still there, I suppose, so that's good. Oh, invisibility. I see. You're going that route. Interesting. Oh. You failed. You, you failed even worse. Oh, God. <laughs> Immaculate, please. You know... That priest is really, really close. You know you really shouldn't be that close, right? Es especially to lava. Alright, we're going to toss some uh, healing over to Steve here. There we go. And we're going to get a smack on the Stormweaver here. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a... I guess I can get Crippling Blow if I so desire, but I can get three attacks off anyways. Alright, let's activate Barbed Wire, I guess, for the last hit. There we go. We don't get as accurate, but we do provoke, or we do get uh, hits off. Alright, that's another hit. End our turn there. Alright, so I have a choice. I can either charm somebody or instantly kill somebody. Because it's funny... You can go into lava. Insta-kill. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Alright, cool. Maybe they're going nuts, as expected. Doing buffs and all that jazz, trying to get me. Wait, why did you do that? That's only hurting your allies. Okay. Apparently friendly fire is definitely on the uh, on the menu here. Above all things. <laughs> well, it's not my problem. It's their allies that are taking the beating after all. Alright, well, let's do a uh, quick staple charge here. There we go. Everybody gets knocked prone. I will then attack this one here. There we go. Nice. End our turn there. I would teleport again, but again, that's not going to work for us. Uh, I'll do a double tap here, though. Uh, let's see. I can get a double tap on the duelist here, I suppose. Yeah, might as well. There we go. And because we have the option, I'm going to send the fire over to you. There we go. Now you're on fire and you're poisoned. Adding only even more to our uh, attacks, which are good. Okay. Well, obviously the Immaculate we can't target now, so that sucks, but that's fine. We are instead going to poison this guy? If we do that, then we lose out on Blitzbolt, but considering it's a high damage 
ability, which is actually the highest damage output we got. We're gonna do it. In addition to that, we lay down poison. And we can lay out two attacks of our own with earth damage. There we go. We should be able to get two attacks on the Immaculate without too much hassle. We'll get two. Okay, that's a miss. But we can do the Cripple Strike. There we go, that's a kill. Nice. Alright, the Immaculate Assassin takes some big damage. Good. Uh, let's move four AP worth. Yeah, let's move four AP worth over here. We're going to deal with the Immaculate Assassin here. There we go. That gives us some more EXP. And now we can just go over to the Immaculate Marksman here and just smack him. Alright, that's a miss. Okay, we're going to do a crippling blow here. And that's it, I think. Yeah, there we go. I'm warm as fresh apple pie. <laughs> the burning comes in, naturally. Okay, tornado, let's clear out that. Alright, with that, now we can heal up properly. Okay, Marcus is now fully healed, probably. That just leaves Steve, which honestly shouldn't be too much trouble. Yeah. It's not as fast as the slug, uh, the slugs areas, but that's fine. Okay, let's start repairing everything. Okay, this needs to be repaired. The greaves need to be repaired. Let's repair the weapon and let's repair the shield. Alright, for Steve, we just repair everything we can and go from there. Get the wands. Okay, that one's fine. We'll repair the belt and the boots. There we go. Kind of sad we couldn't get any information out of these guys before we could kill them, but hey. That's just the immaculate way, I suppose, isn't it? Ah, void supplicants. That's not good. That means those guys... Seems. Let's just hope we uh, can manage to walk around here with ease. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay, let's move over to here. Marcus, let's get you over here. Okay, we're going to start off with our usual summoning tactic, but before we do, we're going to save here, just to be safe, as we do. We're going to summon in a ooze at the very precipice here. There we go. The ooze comes in. We're going to activate our barbed wire stance. We're going to activate fast track so we get faster. We can use this if we so desire, which we will. There we go. That gives everybody a boost to encourage. And we can do shackles of pain, but we're not close enough just yet. So, I, honestly, I guess we just move, don't we? Yeah, let's move up closer so we can get the taunt off. Okay, we can go for a charm if we so desire, and we're going to charm the duelist here. There we go. The duelist has been charmed, we're going to move in closer so we can have the chance to get some burn off. Okay. <laughs> I see you want to do that. Okay, hammer time has been introduced. Interesting.
Oh, that was a uh, damage. Okay, that was an AoE heal. Okay, interesting. We're going to want to get rid of the priest immediately, so we're probably going to teleport the priest into the lava. That is my most instinctual method, anyways, of going about this, so... We'll teleport him into the lava, and we'll go from there. At least, that's my thoughts. Appears there's a teleportation circle there, so that's interesting. Oh, it appears our poison slug has been charmed, which is not good. Although, then again, poison seems to be the biggest problematic thing for them, so... Ah, blind. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh, thank you. You've brought Marcus back up. That's good. Alright, Poison Slug is making its merry way over. And hitting the duelist. Okay. We are going to taunt. Alright, that'll taunt everybody in our position. We are then going to do explode here, I think. Get as much as we possibly can here. There we go. That'll mean fire damage all the way around. End our turn there. Immaculate Duis doing its work for us, which is good. Alright. Now, teleportation. We want to target the priest. And we just want to toss him into lava. No need to sugarcoat it, just take him out. That saves us a lot of trouble, after all. We'll end our turn there with two extra mana. And we'll be on our way. Unfortunately for them, the charm is only going... Well, they're going to be targeting, uh... But only suffering more as they go along. Okay, we're going to want to go with the trip, I do believe. There. There we go. Okay, that failed. Alright, fine. Then we can go with a... I guess we'll go with a guaranteed crippling blow. There we go. We get the crippled status on. Which I... Yep, it gives them a negative impact on their movement and action point recovery. We'll then just go with a hit. There we go. No need to go any more creative than that. Okay, we heal Marcus here. And just because I don't want to deal with our ooze causing too much of a ruckus... We are going to summon an undead warrior in its place. Right here. There we go. Alright, so they decided that. Okay. We're going to try and get the bleed on the enchanter. Which we do manage. Perfect. We're going to attack the duelist now as a focus. Apparently we've got our poison slug still in play, even though it's charmed. Which is a very interesting situation that's played out. Okay. That's a very interesting situation. Okay, um... Poison you, I suppose. End our turn. Skeleton gets that. Alright, we're gonna focus on the duelist then. There we go. I thought you couldn't get more than one summon. That actually changes a lot of things if it's the case. Okay. We're going to do a charge here. There we go. Get ourselves into position. We're going to slowly but surely move our ooze in. We want to move one AP worth as carefully as possible here. Okay. Here we go. And we can get a hit off on the marksman. There we go. There we go. I'm going to have to figure out what the conditions are for summoning. And honestly, if we can summon two things at once, that'd be nice. If not, well, I guess it's fine. Okay, even more. There we go. 
Uh, let's just move forward. There you go. Those two are knocked down, so they can't do a dang thing, except for the assassin. Who gets to charm off on uh, Marcus, which is not fun. Okay, uh... Yeah, I guess we're going... Alright, we're slowly moving forward, I suppose. Alright, come on. Uh, one AP worth. Okay, Skeleton goes here, and gets a strike off on the Immaculate Marksman there. There we go. Ooze deals a ton of damage, but it stands up though. But it's still not enough, because... Boom. Damage. We can then target the Marksman here, if we so desired. Okay, where are we going to target though? We're, I guess we target with Poison here. There we go. Boop. Ton of damage, nice. Okay, skeleton gets focused. That's fine. Alright, Marcus is being targeted, or Marcus is being used, naturally. That's not fun. Okay, we're gonna have to use a summon to distract Marcus, at the very least. Otherwise, things are just gonna get much worse. Ow. Okay. Okay, we want to summon another ooze here. There we go. Alright, Steve, we want you to move out of the uh, range of this assassin here. Alright, Marcus, you're fine. Surprisingly. Okay, we're gonna just move over and smack the marksman. Or try to. Uh, we got a 62% chance, so we're just going to get a guaranteed crippling strike. That's enough for a level up, even. That's nice. Okay. We can now focus on dealing damage to the assassin here. Get a big poison off. Get a smack off to boot. Alright, it's the ooze's turn again. Gets a smack off. End our turn there. Poison coming in clutch. Trying to attack the ooze now. Assassin's just getting smacked up with his own damage, no less. That's good. Okay, we're going to just... Yeah, I guess we attack this assassin here. And we poison the other. Which is probably going to get a big load of boom. There we go. Big damage. And... Oh, well, whatever. Wait, how are we attacking from there? What? <laughs> Alright, good job, Poison Slug. He got long range attacks. Good job. <laughs> Alright, Steve. Clear up the area. There we go. While we're at it, when we get. this area. At the very least, we get a level up because of it, so I'm not too complained. Or at least hard-pressed. What's up here, though? Hmm. Food for thought, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, there's something there. But I'm very curious about what's in this little portal here. Alright, let's uh, do a well, first let's split up, because we obviously do, you do need to avoid the lava at all costs. Alright, what do we get for our level ups? Uh, we just get skill points. Okay. In that case, I think it's in our best interest to, well, we'll leave that lore master. We're not too hard pressed on it. Okay. Geomancer, we got one master level spell. We can get another master witchcraft spell. Or we can boost up any of our other abilities. So, it's going to cost us 5 if we upgrade Witchcraft or Geomancer. So, do I want anything specific with our books? 
Let's see, we've got... Well, we're going to sort by type with Marcus here. Type, once again. Okay. Horrific Scream, Invulnerability, Death Punch. Uh, and... Horf well, Invulnerability. Uh, deal 629 to 769 crushing damage to a target near you. Uh, it appears to be a single target spell. Hmm. Do I want Death Punch? I'll be honest, it's very tempting, I must admit. Uh, let's see. What do I get in... Alright, so... Let's see. I can either go for that, which is going to get a uh, 6 Novus, War Adept, and 2 Master Witchcraft spells. Okay. I'm very tempted to take it, to be honest, instead of Horrific Stream scream because we do need a damage spell well among other things I, I guess we got magic dart so it's not that big a deal how much does it cost it costs nine to use that's the issue invulnerability makes yourself invulnerable two mana to use and can only be used once per combat I am better off using horrific scream because it costs a bit less it has a chance to set the fear status and targets multiple enemies. I think I like Horrific Scream, but there is also the uh, option of going uh, Geomancy, which will allow us to either summon an Earth Elemental, do a Tectonic, well, not a Tectonic Spray, but we can do some Earthquakes, I suppose. Uh, knocks down enemies, deals 357-395 Earth damage, and creates random oil surfaces. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Deadly Spores is also an option. And that launches... Multiple Poisonous Spores. If I'm correct, this is actually a very powerful uh, ability. So I think we go Deadly Spores. But we need to increase our Geomancy. So I'm going to increase our Geomancy here. Yep, Geomancy. We're going to learn Deadly Spores here. And this is going to effectively be our mass heal, if I'm correct. Yep, it does a ton. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a lot of loss. <laughs> Alright, yep. I do not regret... I kind of regret doing that, but that was hilarious as well. Holy shit, that even cleared out the lava. Hold on. Wait, is this ability enough to clear out lava? Hold on. Wait, can poison... I'm curious now, hold on. Can poison explode lava? Okay, norm normally it can't, but what happens if I do this? My god, wait, hold on. Okay, no, no. It was just that specific area. Okay, okay. Would have been hilarious if that were the case, but... Oh, well. Yeah, no. It doesn't do that. Okay, Marcus. Let's move on to you. We do not even have you with a... Well, I guess you do have Mana Arms Master 1, but we should probably upgrade that if we can. Yeah, because you only got Novice, Adept, and Master. We need to get you more AP, though, if we're going to do that, so... That is not an option for us just yet. Let's see. Bodybuilding requires 50 point or 5 point or 3 points. Shield Specialist costs 4. Armor Specialist, 3. 3. Okay, 3. Or 2, rather. Uh, weapon. Single-handed. If I do that, I can increase our damage to 259, which is actually pretty nice. Armor Specialist would get 239, but we would also be able to reduce it to negative 80% movement penalty. Uh, we can reduce our status ailments, which is pretty nice. Skills... Do we go Pyrokinetic and get some more Adept spells? Or do we go Elite Marksman? Because I do believe we have some Novice Marksman spells now. Uh, adept, Adept, Novice. Yeah, so we got a Doctor skill book, which 
I'm not sure if it even heals properly. It gets rid of weak, blind, mutant, infected, though. So that's something to consider. Man, there's a lot of stuff that I gotta consider. Jeez. Okay, hold on. Oh, Marcus has some other stuff as well, it appears. Survivor's Karma, Absorb the Elements, which is an adept spell, and First Aid. Cures Bleeding, Crippled, and Diseased. Alright. Well, for now, I'm going to take a small five minute break while I think about this. I need to do some life stuff, but yeah. I will be back in five minutes, and I will see you guys shortly. See you in five minutes. I'm going to take my break. All right, I am back. Now, if I do recall correctly, yes. Um, let's first focus on our healing. That's what we wanted in the 
first place, so we'll do that here. There we go. Okay, we're going to want to split up here temporarily so we can just cross this little lake here. We're going to move up here. Now, let's see. Black Gate's fine. We don't need to worry about that. We'll just take a moment to let our cells recover here. Alright, let's do a save before we do go forward. And now that we've resolved it, we can move on. Okay. We are apparently over by Void Rams, whatever they are. Okay, Marcus, you're playing a very dangerous game. Immaculate Assassins are not going to be fun. Oh, okay. I guess we're uh, going that far. Okay. We're going to... I guess we set up here instead. There we go. We'll set up here. We will activate barbed wire here. There we go. We are going to use fast track to get ourselves haste, hasted. And I guess we go with the taunt here. There we go. Taunt failed, but that's fine. We're looking to bring them anyway, or bring them over anyways. Okay, we're gonna want to summon a poison slug I guess we'll move a bit closer to here. Okay, that's not what we wanted, but that's fine. We can get the charm on the enchanter here. There we go. That works for me. The enchanter goes next, and the void rams are... doused in a void aura. Whatever that is. I think that's a very concerning thing, though. Hmm. Okay, that's a slow. The assassin's going in. Doesn't seem like these rams are going to be attacking anytime soon, though, so that's good. We have the chance to attack with free form action. We'll get a cripple here. There we go. Get another swing. Nice. Suppose. All right, poison up. There we go. Aha! They're going to smack, and I guess we go for the cripple strike. Boom! Done. And the Void Rams have a Void Aura, which is concerning. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Hmm. Immaculate Shepherd. Well, they haven't attacked us yet, so that's interesting. Does that mean the Shepherd's going to cause the attack more than anything? At least I assume that's the case. Hmm. Not fun, but whatever. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, Void Rant. Void Aura. I think that's a uh, defensive thing? Yeah, they are invulnerable. But that could be easily fixed by the using the... No, we need to deal with the Shepherd, I think. Yeah, I guess we need to deal with the Shepherd first. There we go. Okay, end our turn there. Gonna focus on you. Okay, let us do some midnight oil antics here. There we go. Okay, they're gonna start attacking naturally. 
Oh, are you going to attack? No, you're not going to attack the exploded skeleton, thankfully. Oh, but you're gonna try. Okay, that's a boom. Okay, Steve gets hit, that's fine. You know, there's an easy way to go about this. I just teleport the shepherd into lava. Although I'm not sure what's gonna happen though. Alright. Target the shepherd, there we go. Okay, we can get the uh, attack off, get some big damage there. Are you kidding? I should have used Gripping Blow. Oh well. Alright. Damage here. There we go. Okay, we are going to use the barrage here. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, the void rams are now neutral. Oh, whoops. I've dismantled my uh, wind ability. Arrow Theurge, put that back. Clear out the map, the fire. There we go. There we go. Alright, Void Aura. Void Aura makes one invulnerable. Level 15, attitude 5, HP. Is there a way to kill them, though? That is the question. Well, I guess we can sleep here for a temporary time. Get some recovery back. There you go. Now, what would happen if I toss... Well, no, they're invulnerable, so they won't actually take damage, will they? I mean, I could toss them. Or try to. What happens if... Well, yeah, no, they're not going to take damage, so... I shouldn't need to worry. Okay. If I toss you over to... I don't know, here? Did that do anything? Oh. Okay. Okay, so apparently they can't be dealt with. Okay, no, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to replay this. Okay. Alright, well... Let's just nuke his owner then, I suppose. Alright. Go long, Shepard. Kaboom. Haha. Ow. Okay. Okay. Boom. And go for the crippling blow here. Boom. Alright. Uh, we might be able to get a poison dart through. No, we cannot. But we can certainly do a blast here. There we go. Get your head. There we go. And I think if I do this right... Yeah, if I do oil here... There we go. That gets burn. Okay, you're gonna start moving in position. Yeah, we just don't want to deal damage to the Void Rams at this point. Until we can figure out what's going on. Or try and figure out how to get rid of the void armor they have. Kind of wish we could, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, Immaculate goes down. Done. Interesting situation to be played out, that's for sure. We'll heal up Marcus real quick. And we'll use this as an excuse to throw down a poison puddle. Alright, Marcus, or Steve, go in. There we go. Recover as much as you possibly can. 
There we go. Almost done. There we go. And there. Perfect. What we got? Static cloud arrow, unidentified item. Um, leadership crossbow. Okay. It's not that great, but hey, it's something. Do a save here. Not sure what we're going to do about these uh, void rams. I guess you're not supposed to kill them. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do with Marcus for his points. Right, I should probably do that first. Okay, Shield Specialist would be a good staple, but I think I should go for something that costs two ability points to start with. Let's see. Skills. Uh, let's see. It's going to cost three to get Scoundrel Pyrokinetic at another level. So I think it's in our best interest to get Expert Marksman here. So we'll get one level of that. And we will get two levels of Willpower? Or do we go with something else? I think bodybuilding might actually be a better option here. Because at the very least we're getting a uh, resistance to knock down, burning, frozen, and all that. At a 45% chance. That's probably going to be for the best. Plus we'll get some novice skills as part of it, so. A bloodstone. That's a really big one. Hmm. I should probably destroy that, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Okay, that doesn't do us much work, but that's fine. Alright, Marcus. Slowly, carefully guide your way along here. Steve, do the same. And let's slowly approach it. Many souls were sacrificed to create a bloodstone this powerful. We can honor those lost by destroying hmm. this perversion of their lives. Okay, how do we destroy it though? Hmm. That's the question, how do we destroy it? That seems like something, hold on. Alright, well, first and foremost, we should probably go around, because there is that portal. Well, first, let's, uh... Yeah, let's... Okay, first we need to figure out how we're going to get across. Let's see. I think we go around the throne here. Oh, that was close. Okay, can we, uh, squelch on through here? Just barely, okay. We'll do the same with Marcus, then. There we go. Alright, if we, uh... Yeah, no, if we send that to Marcus, then we should be able to combine that and make the staff stronger. So we'll send that to Marcus. Alright, let's go into crafting. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yet yeah, we need the staff here. Alright, we're going to get the second bit. Carving, there we go. That is the staff. And if we get the staff level three part three, and we get the stone, then this will get us the max quality staff if we can upgrade it. Of course, this is two-handed, which sucks, but that's fine. Uh, we won't be able to make it just... Now, how do we break this? Uh, that is an invalid target. How do we break it? Hmm. That is the question, isn't it? Okay, there's something around here that guides us around. Okay. Void Aura. Okay, how do we deal with the Void Aura, though? Hmm. That's a good question. One second.
Okay, hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, I know the result that I have to go for then. So, you know how I picked up Tenebrium weapons, yes? There's Dark Swords and all that jazz. Uh, let's see, where is it? We've got Tenebrium stuff, yes? Well, apparently Tenebrium is the only sort of method used to actually take down these sorts of things. Uh, let's see, this is a Team Nebrium weapon as well. Okay. We can still wield it to- well, no, we need more dexterity, hold on. Hmm. But yeah, no, we need to Nebrium weapons to deal with this, so give me a second while I equip- or make something, even. Alright, so we need an anvil and a Tenebrium ingot if we want to make a Tenebrium blade, most likely. So we won't be able to touch this bloodstone just yet, unless we have something Denebrium-wise in our inventory. Uh, let's sort by type. Let's see. Dark Sword. Nope. Uh, what else is there? There's... This is technically Denebrium, uh, as is this. Uh, that's not. This is technically Tenebrium, but we need a dex of 8, so we need to equip something dex related and get it to 8 for ourselves. Let's see. Identify that. Okay, what things can give us dexterity? Hold on. Intelligence, charisma, intelligent with power. Okay, strength, speed. Hmm, one sec. Here we go, dexterity and crafting. That'll get us to seven. Uh, we still need a bit more dexterity, so let's see. Oh, dexterity perception. Here we go. That is probably going to be our only way that we're going to get this Tenebrium item equipped perfectly. There we go. of all existence from the void's grasp, don't you think? Yes, Source Hunter, I'm feeling quite optimistic myself. Quite, quite. Although that doesn't change the fact that we gotta deal with the uh, void creed. Well, no, now we don't have to deal with them because they're all dead, I think. Which works in our favor. Uh, we'll go by gold value here, and we need to get our mallet back, I guess. Wherever it is, honestly. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, where is it? We got clobber in time. That isn't what we're using, though. We'll equip the winter amulet back again. We'll take that off, obviously. Hmm. I might have to go with snakebite here. At least until I can find my, uh... Weapon stick. Okay, where is it? Where's my weapon stick? Uh, we equipped this as well. There we go. Okay, where's my weapon stick? Come on. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. The 181, or the 81 to 121. 
So, and 20 to 30. It's way better than the dagger, so, yeah, boop. There we go. Nice. See if there's anything interesting. Probably nothing, to be honest, but lava, though. Oh, wait! Because we removed all the, uh, conditions here, I do believe, via the wishing well, it made our life a lot easier. That's probably what the wishing well ultimately wished for. It could have been a lot worse here, actually, now that I think about it. Well, that's good means our life is a lot easier having a uh, resolve that in that such a way okay there's you but we don't need to worry about that before we dealt with you yeah no it would have been either a sneak mission or just a fight mission over on the other side there wouldn't it okay there's nothing around here so I guess we just go up and around like so we go through to the stairwell here, I guess. We've already dealt with these guys on that side, so is there anybody on this side that we need to worry about? Maybe. We'll see. Okay, off we go. Yeah, we don't need to go down there, so no worries there. Anything up here that I should be concerned about? Not really. Yeah, it looks like everything's wrapped up here nicely. Yeah, if you have some parkour skills, you can basically just jump through the lava, I bet. If you're smart about it. I'm sure there's ways you can go about going through. But I digress. Okay, with that, though, we have saved the Demiplane for the most part. And I think that's wrapping it up here. Well, we still do need to deal with this Nebrium stuff from here and uh, release the prisoners. But that is going to be a given. So we're going to go back to the Sacred Stone of Lucilla Forest. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Sacred... Sacred Stone, here we go. Alright. With that, we've managed to get ourselves over to here. Initiate guard, okay. Now. Oh, there's an anvil here. Okay, hold on. Could be worse. My brother's a god at King Perez's battles. All right. Okay, if I'm right, then I use Tenebrium here, and I can make myself a... I can't make myself anything. Okay. Hmm, one second. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Oh, 
Okay, so apparently you need Tenebrium 3 to actually make Tenebrium into weapons. Okay. So I can't make them into anything just yet. So. Alright. So you're the blacksmith's apprentice. That's right. How do you think I'm doing? I'm starting to get a hang of the operation. By my master's tough bloke to please. Okay, you're a goblin, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I do believe I sold you a bunch of stuff, didn't I? Yeah. yeah that's a lot of stuff. I sold a lot of, uh, plates and whatnot, didn't I? <laughs> uh, let's go by price, or gold value, I suppose, there. There we go. Let's see, what we got? Two strength. Okay, this is, we're, we're grabbing that. That's way too powerful for, to ignore. And it's actually stronger than what we got currently. Yeah, fire, earth, and air resistance with a two strength buffer. That's powerful. We're keeping that. Uh, the shield is a 28 block chance. Uh, we get a bonus to movements. Uh, we get big air resistance and fire resistance, but the constitution can't be beat, so we'll keep what we got currently. Uh, immunity to petrified, I'm not too worried about. Leadership, unbreakable, and unlocks burning my eyes. We don't need that. Alright, the wand here, if we swap to Steve, is not really good. It would be a good replacement for the other wand, which has intelligence and leadership, but not worth it. Uh, the belt here is Tenebrian resist resistance, lockpicking, and whatnot. We don't need to worry about that. There appears to be some uh, Tenebrium stuff here that's interesting. Don't need it, though. I should probably, at the very least, get a Tenebrium weapon on on the uh, off chance that we need it, so we'll grab that. We'll take all your gold, obviously. And we're going to get the equipment and see what we can sell. Uh, we'll go by gold value. Well, actually, no, let's go by type, actually. Type is a bit more organized, to a degree. Okay, we don't need the Dark Sword of the Tyrant. Don't need the Claymore. Uh, we don't need the Morning Star, do we? Okay, we don't need a... We don't need that normal pickaxe. We'll keep the Enchanted one. Okay, we don't need the Staff. We don't need the Axe here. Uh, Tenebrium Bow. Uh, we don't use Dexterity, so it's not that good. Uh, let's see. Dexterity again. Tenebrium 3. So we'll sell this. We at the very least need a Tenebrium 1 weapon, so gotta keep that in mind. Picked fork we can keep. Uh, we're going to need to... Well, we don't need the Dexterity st one, so we'll sell that. We'll sell Base Lord, Mercy Giver. We don't need this. Keep the stake just in case. Okay, we don't need the wands anymore. We'll sell those. Uh, yep, yeah, sell those. We don't need this because it's dexterity related. Sell this. Dexterity. Uh, this, we don't need. Is this better than what Steve has? I don't think so. Well, maybe. Hold on. Alright, well, let's balance for now. There we go. Okay, first... Well, first, let's uh, figure out what's... I'll take my leave. Okay, first... Alright, we're gonna go sort by type. There we go. Okay, we managed to get this, which is going to boost our strength even further. That is gonna have a plus six difference on our strength, which is really nice. Uh, earth, Poison, Tenebrium Resistance, and HP. I think we send this to Steve, honestly. Yeah, it might be better. Yeah, it's way better than the strength and intelligence. Getting the resistance is more effective here. So we're going to send that to Marcus. There we go. Okay, what else? Hmm. Uh, we could do with a better belt, if possible. We'll go by type, as you do. Okay, poison resistance, Geneva resistance, lockpick and crafting. Nope. Uh, nothing there. Okay.
I do believe. Alright. Let's get all that gold in. There we go. Go by Marcus. Again, by type. There we go. Okay, we don't... Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to be good. Um, we'll sell these sarongs, because we don't need those. We don't need this sarong, because it's only so good. Uh, we don't need this one. Okay, we don't need the gold ring here. Yeah, we'll sell that. Okay, we got some golden ones we should probably sell. Perception and pickpocketing, we'll keep that. Strength, speed, earth resistance, and war master. Not a fan of strength. Uh, I do like the speed. The earth resistance also adds to it, so it's actually a little better than the uh, terra thin gold ring, I suppose. Lore master is the only useless thing, but then again, pickpocketing is there on the other one, so... This might actually be a replacement for the Terrathin that Marcus has. We don't need this. Uh, we'll keep that. We'll sell this. Sell this. Well, I guess we need the blacksmithing, so we'll keep that. Okay, keep that. That blacksmithing. We sell the bartering. Sell these boots. Okay, dexterity and crafting. I mean, we don't have any blacksmithing... We got we got blacksmithing actually. Hold on, crafting blacksmithing blacksmithing lockpicking. We we'll sell this, sell that that and that. Uh, we've already got the buffalo amulet. We got the winter ring, mermaid kiss. I do believe we also have immaculate amulet, so we don't need to worry about those. I don't think, anyways. We'll keep the brittle amulets though. I feel like they're really important. Hmm. Anyways, uh, da -da -da. I'm getting distracted. Okay, telekinesis, pickpocketing, HP, reflection. We don't need this. Sell that. Alright, we've got way too much. Okay, um, in that case, is there anything that we can grab? We'll go by gold value. Okay. Earthquake. We'll grab Infectious Flame. Hail Scroll. Uh, we'll grab the... Oh, we don't need these. Uh, let's, go, let's go by type, I guess. Nope. He doesn't organize to begin with. Okay. Uh, anything good here? Not really. Uh, small, wonderful, dark shield. Hmm. Alright, well, let's uh, get rid of some of these, and we will continue on. We don't need to sell everything, after all. There we go. We'll settle for that. There we go. I'll take my leave. Alright. What we're going to do here is we're going to... Okay, we don't get anything. That's fine. Antique Arbalist. Hammers. He who smelts it. Okay, Steve, you are currently at 110. We'll send the gold over to Marcus. Bloodstone Cage. Ah, right. Okay, so we actually still have the Bloodstone Cage. We just got Tenebrium in here. I guess we send that to Marcus, don't we? There we go. Yeah, Marcus will handle the uh, Tenebrium stuff, won't he? Alright, well, let's attempt this uh, Walk in Shadows.
Not even worth the rummaging. Okay, come on. There we go. And to none was the wiser. As he picks up literally everything. And I guess we'll just do a quick invisibility with Steve so we collect all the rest of the stuff. Alright. Good. From Mar from there. We are going to quickly uh, teleport to, I guess, Silver Glen? Yeah, let's quickly go to Silver Glen in Hyberheim. Well, not Hyberheim. Uh, Lukilo Forest. Silver Glen. Here we go. Alright. Beware of the lost ones out there, Wanderer. Their blood is impure. All right, let's use this chance to smell as much tenebrium as we can. We'll send that to Marcus. There we go. Thankfully, got a forge. Oh, right. We can't use that forge, though. Which does suck. Hmm. I guess we actually have to go back to Sysiel if we want to use the forge. Let's do that. Okay, so Sysiel, we want to go into the north gate, I suppose. It's been a while since we've been back to Sysiel, but considering we need to craft some uh, ingots, it's all probably for the best. Okay. Gonna wander all the way over here. Gonna take us a bit, but that's fine. This is the closest thing we're going to get to the forge anyway, so we'll do what we can. Alright, come on, Marcus. In fact, we'll just use a... There we go. Just get you faster. There we go. Just a little bit. I don't think that actually helped any, but whatever. <laughs> All right, Marcus is here. Gonna open up the furnace here that we have. And we're gonna start smelting the miscellaneous stuff that we have. Okay, Tenebrium Ore, let's start there. Wait, hold on. Uh, potential combination but needs blacksmithing. Okay. Okay, we're gonna sort by type. Let's see. Dexterity crafting, blacksmithing, here we go. And we need a belt of blacksmithing. Here we go, belt of blacksmithing, there we go. Uh, do we have any rings that give blacksmithing? I don't think they... we do. Okay, no, there's nothing for blacksmithing ring-wise. Okay, that's the closest we're gonna get. Okay, Marcus. Okay. What we do is we toss in the Tenebrium Ore, and we begin. Okay, perfect. Alright, Iron Bars, we'll make a ton of those. Alright, we can make a ton of Steel Bars, as we see fit. We'll make a bunch of Tenebrium, there we go. Make some stardust while we're at it. Make some pixie dust. There we go. Now, let's see. We want a club if we can help it. Alright. Let's go over here. Now that we have the tenebrium, let's see. What can we make with tenebrium? Okay, we can make nothing with Tenebrium Bars, so let's see. Uh, we've got Silver Bars, which we can turn into something. Hmm. One second.
Ah, I see. That's what I got to do. Okay, so in order for us to combine a weapon... In order for us to use Tenebrium, what we need to do is we need to take the weapon of choice that we're going to be using for the uh, craftsmanship. And we need to... Uh, we're going to put... We're going to unequip that. Going to go into craft. We're going to take the weapon of choice that we want to upgrade with Tenebrium. And then we use the Tenebrium bar. And... Okay, nothing. Great. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we need a Tenebrium uh, 3 if we want to make that a reality, though. But hey, we were here just to uh, decrease the weight, so... That's the main reason I'm here. Among other things, that is. Egg and rack. What the heck? I, I don't know what that is. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but we are getting rich, so that's a good thing. I'm not complaining about that. Hmm. Okay, well, without further ado, we've basically done what we wanted to. I'm not in any particular rush, I do believe, to change what I've been doing. Uh, let's see, equipment-wise... Oh, right, we'll send that to Steve, because that's another bloodstone that we can convert, I do suppose. And I do believe that Marcus does need some novice, uh... Skill books. We'll send that... Oh, no, wait, we need to send that to Marcus, actually. Alright, we'll send Doctor to Marcus. We'll send... Not Infect, but we'll send... First Aid to Marcus. There we go. He can only learn two or three skills, I believe, right now. So... Yeah, we can't learn Absorb the Elements. Doctor skill book we can learn. There we go. So we've learned Doctor... Which, um, cures weak, uh, grants one body building for two turns. That's nice. As for first aid, heals target for 10% HP. Is that a healing in a good way or a bad way? It is a healing in a bad way. But it does give us, uh, it does cure bleeding, crippled, and disease. As for the doctorate, that is going to give us bodybuilding one and gets rid of weak, blind, mutant, infected. So that's pretty good. That is basically a, a saving grace if we ever need it. I'll, albeit first aid does cripple us quite a bit, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we all, all we need to do is go into the phantom forest and do other shenanigans. Let's see. We're going to go to Phantom Forest Hunter's Edge, I believe. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to save everybody from uh, these bandits and whatnot. Hmm. How are we going to save the people? That's the question, isn't it? Okay, what's going on here? Quit your sneaking around, you snake. Where'd you say you come from again? And how do we know you ain't a spy? I overheard you whispering. What? That's, yeah. that's disgusting. A tiny pink flesh human and a nought like myself. Why, I've got eyes for the great Gratilda alone. Uli. We... We can't... Hide forever. Hide what? You think this stranger knows anything about the two of us, all three? I'll tell you now, that twerp don't know a thing. Enough, fully. Enough. Surely this stranger has no reason to put us in harm's way. We're all sworn immaculates here, are we not? There are certain secrets that... that perhaps we... Beneath the goddess's eye, may share in good faith. Tell me your story. Well, first thing you have to understand, we orcs aren't made to love at all. Nah, we're born devoted to our queen, and to her we turn all our attentions. 
To seek fulfillment outside the Queen's graces, well, it's a treason committed only once in a red moon among we orcs. And the penalty is a terrible death. When we first took the village, I couldn't tell Orfric apart from the rest of the pink little ants scurrying about. A human was a human, as far as I was concerned. As for me, Ulor stood out right away. The curve of his horns, his, his regal bearing. He was fascinating. I, I'd never seen an orc as anything but an enemy, but suddenly I, I couldn't keep my eyes off this great green brute. I suppose my staring was rather conspicuous. You suppose? Ho oh, oh. ho. I thought you were aiming to slit my throat the way you were watching me. I, I couldn't help myself. It, it was almost supernatural. But when Ulo marched over to me, club in hand, to address my strange behavior, something happened. Love at first sight, if you can believe it. I came over. I found in Ulfric's eyes was, well, whatever it was, it hasn't left me since. It seems I must make a choice regarding how to handle this curious situation. Please, if you've any mind for sparing two fellows a terrible fate, you'll swear to keep our secret to yourself. We've committed no sin greater than experiencing a love as sweet and pure as any. But if we were discovered, it would mean certain death for us both. We swear it indeed. We'll not see anyone harmed for daring to love. And so let us speak the oath. Your secret is safe with us. Ah, oh, friend. Your words are a great relief to my beloved and I. I, I can't explain how or, or why we found these feelings, but there's one thing I know for certain. We are no traitors, and our service to the cause remains true. Your discretion is worth its weight in gold. Goddess bless you. I'll take my leave. Interesting. Okay. Alright. I guess we can get a resol resolution there, I suppose, if need be. And I do believe our orc buddy did get killed, so that's not going to be a fun time. Catcher's there. Um, we're probably going to want to deal with some other problems here. Hold on, let's see. Back alley trader. We discovered an orc trader selling Tenebrium merchandise. Okay. Hmm. Okay, how are we going to handle this? Honestly, I think the best way is just to start a fight in town, but I'm not sure. Hold on. The Legend of Weresheep. Hmm. Cave of Portals. The Missing Threads. There's so much talking, geez. <laughs> uh, General's Tale, no. Forge of Souls, no. Slaves and Masters, no. The back alley trader. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, the quest will automatically end when you complete Worn Stones. Okay. So that's basically done. We didn't tell anything. Okay, hmm. 
Got all specs about pair transport. Okay. Starcross lovers. We decided to spare them. Follow the wizard. Okay. Cordelia the reanimator. Okay. Okay, let's see. Alright, drag the small bone totem on the ritual circle in the basement of Horton and Carla Swamp. Speak with the totem inside if you want to free Horton Carla, or keep them as possible merchants. Oh, okay, so I have to go back into the basement here. And uh, go and decide if I want to get rid of them or keep them around. Okay, that's an easy solution. Honestly, the guys don't seem all that bad. I say keep them, to be honest. So, yeah, no, we get the totem, if I'm not mistaken. It's somewhere here. Uh, not keys. Uh, totems, it's probably on Marcus at this point. Uh, let's go by type. That's the easiest way to organize things, anyways. Here we go. Uh, bone totem. Okay. You can speak, but how? I benefit from a magic more powerful than you could begin to comprehend. It nourishes me, and the souls I harbor feed it in kind. Tell me about the priestess who crafted you. Tell me about the souls you harbor. Tara and her husband Horton. Their souls call out to one another, but they are blinded by the curse of pop. Their confusion is an elixir I sit from at my leisure. Their bones wander the earth as tradesmen. Content enough, their fate is not one to be mourned. They serve a purpose. Their corpses perform a function, do they not? And their souls give me delicious, agonizingly delicious life. Alright, I'd like to take you into my pack once more. take my leave for now. Okay, so we need to decide what we're gonna do here. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Now, we can choose to free Horton and Carla, or we can keep them as possible merchants. Um... I think before I make the decision, I'd like to go over to them first. So we're going to do that real quick before we decide what we do. Baking like a cake. I'd very much like to figure out what I'm going to do here, so Please we're going to take that chance to investigate. I need a drink and a breather. I need to dry off. Okay, we go over here, and yeah. That's a lot of bodies, jeez. Okay. Alright. 
if we go over to the entrance here, we can come outside and we can go and talk with the skele skeleton. And once we go over to Carla, we can uh, see about talking with them, figure out what's going on. That will determine if I go with the pragmat pragmatic approach or the more uh, different approach. Hmm. Hello, Horton. My, you're still alive. <laughs> Way to beat the odds, wonder. I can't say okay. I remember who I was before the change came over. He's especially bright one, you know. Most of these days, most hmm. are dead. Okay. Yeah, it it really doesn't specify. Okay, so we're better off just going with the one of the two options. Um I don't know, honestly. It's hard to say. Because you can go either way here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, she basically killed them uh, in this home, so... That's how they came to be. So they've been dead for a while now, actually. Oh, God. Yeah, so she went in, killed them, and sent them out to be merchants in a gruesome manner. The best thing to do would be to give them the exercise they deserve. I've decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna destroy the totem. I would like to keep them alive, but... Nah. I've made my choice. them, their torment will end. They'll be reunited after being so terribly abused. Let this evil weave its magic no more. Take them if you wish. There will be more. There will always be more. My kind will grow in ranks, and yours will serve only to sate us. Yeah, nice try. Hello. Charlotte, darling, I'm here. Gods, after searching for so long. I didn't think I'd ever find you. All was darkness. All was chaos. Never again. May we never part again, my love. Well, that's good to see. We ended up destroying one of the totems, but that's fine. But, as a plus side, in addition to getting romantic and, um, Feeling hot under the collar. at the loss of two merchants, um, we do get something out of it in addition for, uh, destroying them. Now, if we go outside, once again, of course, and we go directly over to here in particular, you're gonna see some things sparkling right now. That is going to matter just a smidgen. But that's fine. Unfortunately, uh, two merchants do die because of this. But, I mean, we do get the loot, I suppose, so that is a good thing. And we don't have to worry about their corpse or their corpse pile being a problem. Okay, we get some nice hair. Yeah, nothing too special. Okay. Now, if we go to the Sicile Harbor specifically, then we should be able to access the other merchant here, which will give us items to boot. Well, is that a shield? Oh. Yeah, we'll grab that. extra money, I
nothing but rubbish. You do you, man. Anyways. That was tedious, but necessary. We're gonna go back to Hunter's Edge here. And now I do believe we need to figure out who stole the stones, right? I also need to figure out how I'm going to save. Hello. What do you want, Flatlander? If you're here for villagers, we've shipped them all out. Yeah, sure. And that uh, building isn't. You'll not get a peek at these prisoners without Yarl's permission. What's what you up to? All right. Got a soft spot for those damned. Do I have permission? May your sword never sully, and your shield never shatter. Actually, I do believe I know where the uh, stones were. Let's do a quick save. May your sword, the bloodstones, are the reason we came here in the first okay. place. Both the Brotherhood and the Orcs were given last night, though. Someone raided this very building and hmm. disappeared. The Orc stones, that is what All right. But if we can get the, uh, if we can get the mountain art, if we can get them, we did tell, we need to tell a white lie, I think, is the cir certain circumstances that are coming down here. We've done Cordelia the, ina the, um, the inanimate, the animator. Forge of Souls, uh, Slaves and Masters. No, we don't need that. Back Alley Trader. Uh, let's see, back alley trader, here we go. Hmm. Okay, uh... Well, we can either keep him as a merchant, or we just let him die. I do believe we've already selected that we keep him alive. Which does suck that we don't get to, uh, re-correct ourselves. But that's fine. Yeah. Gold value, please. Uh, let's see. We got tenebriums, yep. Plenty of good stuff that we could use. Uh, Marcus, let's see, what do you got? You got a 27. Uh, not... It is unbreakable, though. Tenebrium Wand. Ooh, that's pretty good. Blinded and Crippled. 68 to 113. I feel like we should grab the wand just for the sake of grabbing it, so we are going to grab it just in case. But let's see what Steve has. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be better than our intelligence and leadership one, so we'll grab that just in case. Let's see. Uh, 28. Uh, fire resistance, air resistance, tenebrium resistance, and movement speed debuff, but that's fine. This one-handed weapon requires Tenebrium Proficiency 2, though, so I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, Tenebrium 1, Tenebrium 2. Ooh, Tenebrium 2, actually. Hold on. If we use this, then we actually deal a lot of damage, so I think we go with the... Yeah, we won't get much out of it, but we'll get a bit more damage out of it, so... We'll grab that. That'll be our weapons. Okay, we're gonna grab the Tenebrium Bars as well, and let us get some ingredient. well, not ingredients, but we'll sell the majority of what we don't need. Let's see, miscellaneous, uh, gold value, most likely, diamonds, no. Nope. Okay, painting, heavy gold ladle, painting, light gold cups, sell the painting, keep the crystal, sell the golden teaspoon, sell the backpack. Okay, that's one, two, that's four, five, six, one, that's another one, two, two, okay. Uh, unreadable covers, that's fine. Okay, folded shirts, we'll sell those, there we go. 
Uh, fake, you know, fake illness, journals, maintenance diaries, we'll keep those. Okay, fluids two, three, four, five, seven, seven. Okay, that's one. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, six, seven, two, three, four, four. Wait, hold on. Different version of patty cake. Alright, so four, five, one, one, two, two. Three, four, nine, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Okay, one, two, three, 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 nine, five, six, seven, ten, thirteen. Um, that is that is nineteen. All right, that's uh, 15, 20. Man, that's a lot, jeez. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we'll just balance out the coin and go from there. There we go. Take my leave. At the very least, the Tenebrium is going to be useful, so that's good. All right. I don't think there's anything else that we have to cover. But we should probably check out this area as we're going up. Because you never know, right? Okay, let's go up here. This is where the, uh... Yeah, this is where the wizard lives, basically. Just a lantern. Grab these. Alright, that's wood. Wood chips. Nothing there. Okay, we got some wooden crates. Chicken foot. Arrows. Got some interesting things here. Beehives, which can be used to make things. Oh, that's a key for something. Cool. Fresh apple pie. Toasty. Did someone leave an oven door open? We'll check the telescope now. Hello. How's things going with the void? Oh. That's not good. Oh, so the uh, wizard apparently knew of the incident, incident, so he's actually investigating himself. Hmm. Let's do a save here. All right, and off we go. It seems that tribes hmm. walked right in. Out. Let's prove wiser than him, shall we? Um. <laughs> we did not prove wiser in the slightest. Ow. Yeah, pain. <laughs> Oh, that's that's horrible comedic timing. Oh god. All right, let's get some heals. Let's do this. There we go. All right, everybody heals up nice and tidily. Thankfully, the poison is something we can do often, and we don't actually have to target, so that's good. 
God, that, that was such horrible timing. <laughs> Pain. Okay, well, that's uh, my fault, I guess. Oh well. Oh, we're not dead, I suppose. That's the good thing. Hello. How you doing? By the beard of the bear slayer, another human face. You must hail from Silverglen. You are all that away, I heard. Uh, what do you seek within a house? This big green hunk of rock will clod me if I say more than nothing. Perhaps you better query him first. Sure. Uh, hello. Step aside, pig face. Why... Why do you need to get inside this house, exactly? What business is that of yours, pig face? You ain't no son of the old mother. Or even a man in rat like the brothers of y'all. Nothing to worry about, so who's next? We immaculates of all, all of a kind, aren't we? I'm no stranger, I'm one of you. Surely you'd be willing to, uh... Help a man out. Okay, we're gonna go rock here. Okay, rock. Okay, he goes paper, okay. Now, is he gonna do the rock paper thing again? Or the. Oh, no, he's gonna go paper and keep the paper, okay. In that case, we do scissors, and of course he swaps to rock, great. Okay, sorry about that. All right, um, right, he did uh, rock again, so, paper? Are you kidding? How are you doing this? Okay. Okay, uh, scissors. There we go. Okay, I managed somehow. <laughs> well, I suppose the old mother's tried our fates immaculate of every mate and shape, ain't you? I don't pretend to understand. I do trust in her judgment. What do you want to know then? Well, what do you seek with in the house? Something the conduits ask for directly, you see? There's a key inside. A key to a source temple within the forest. The very temple the conduits attempted to crack at this very moment. They say the key's the only way in. But she's attempted to charm her way in while we look for the key here. Without the wizard's servants to show us the way in, though, it don't seem like we'll ever get through the damn doors. What do you know about the Source Temple? I can't say myself what exactly is inside, but the conduit seems ready to turn heaven and ground to get inside. It seems the wizard who lived here was quite familiar with the place. He kept what seems to be the only key, after all. Do you have any leads regarding where the servants may be hiding? Matilda seems to believe they're in a hidden cellar somewhere. But we haven't found a lick of a hint as to where the damn thing might be. They can't have escaped. That's all we know for certain. Shame the wizard's pretty little grapevines and beehives will wither without his team of helpers tending them. Perhaps, once we find and skin the buggers, that priestess can turn them into undead workers fast enough to save the garden. Whip up some wine and mead. <laughs> Alright, I'll take my leave. Good to note. Good to note. But yeah, no, it seems like those Immaculates won't be doing anything with those prisoners until we actually, you know, deal with them, so... Yeah, I think uh, that's it for this area. There's not really anything that we're going to milk out of the area, after all. And I really only see us going over to the temple at this point. I mean, there's no physical way to get everybody else out, so there is that. I'm also not sure whether thing... I'm not sure whether the stones are going to be important or not, so we'll keep the bloodstones just on a rainy day. But yeah. But if we can't, we'll use them and we'll go from there, but this is... They're basically safety nets for what... Anyways. 
After all, we might as well put the Brother, I come not to cause trouble, but I've been sent on behalf of the Immaculates of Silverglen to inspect our newest territory. Come now. I have no hostility in this realm. Ah, uh, rock. Aha! Scissors. Aha! Uh, paper. Ah, pain. Ah, uh, paper. Aha! Done. Silver again, brothers. My boy, I do. Silver again. Uh, what can you tell me about the temple, real quick? We do not inspect. We only guard. Brother Gordagger selected this place for his own special purpose, and so we stand. Why do you stand guard here then? Brother Gordagger's beckoned us to stay. A terrible thing to lose a horn. Now the old mother will never select him for her chosen. I see, I should Nasty little opening there, okay. Interesting. Grab these. And yeah, this seems like the only way to get into the temple, interestingly enough. Although I am worried that the uh great. If blood loss didn't kill the sorry fellow, surely the fall did. Yeah. I guess it'll be more than one mystery we uncover within its depths. Yeah, so I guess we have to find a way to... Yeah, no, we have to open this way up, but... I'm actually going to wrap it up here. And we will be opening this uh, tomb next time. But I digress. For those of you on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification if you want to see more stuff. I stream daily, so you can catch my streams, you catch me 3 to 7, MST time. If you want to catch my streams, the best way to do so is search me up on twitch.tv slash fmipon. Alternatively, if you're on YouTube, the best way to do so is search my About section uh, on my YouTube page. It will direct you to my Twitch channel if you find the link. Or you can check the link down below in the description of the video you're watching. But uh, anyways, for those who are on Twitch or those of you on YouTube come from Twitch, welcome. Your support is always appreciated. If you want to support me some more, the best way to do so is either like, subscribe, comment on the YouTube side of things, or if you're on Twitch, the best way to do so is, you know, provide me follows. The more follows I have, the more content I can give you guys. Once I hit 50 followers and 3 concurrent viewers, which basically means 3 people watching my stream constantly, give or take some time, I can reach affiliate status, which can allow me to, you know, it can now allow me to monetize my stuff. Just a smidgen, anyways. And your support would certainly be appreciated if you'd help me with that, but I'm not going to force it. You guys can do what your own thing. Your support is always appreciated all the same. But yeah, if you want to support me, that's the best way to do so currently. Um, what else? Yes, those of you on Twitch, if you want to get to my YouTube channel, the best way to do so is go to the YouTube search bar and search up F1 Upon. Alternatively, if you scroll down, you should see a YouTube photo among the list of options there. Uh, if you click the YouTube photo, it will direct you to my YouTube channel. 
Or if you're watching from VODs, you can check the VOD description specifically, and there should be two links which you can copy and paste into your browser, and it should direct you to my YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, if you want to watch my older content, the best way to do so is on YouTube. Everything is on there since day one, so if you want to watch something specific, that's the best way to do so. If you want to watch my new stuff, the best way to do so is on Twitch. It has six days worth of content, which you can watch over the week. But if it's not there anymore, just check out YouTube. It's all there. But I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I will see you guys next stream. Take care, everyone. And have a good day.